Fill her up. You're listening to the Gas Digital Network. When you hear that bomb blast, get a shot glass, listen to the podcast, it's all up in your bomb tag. Big J kills them like OJ Simpson and quit. If the fingerless glove don't fit, hit break quick by that big dick Dave Smith. He all up in your ribs while he talking politics. Don't get bit when you rattle by that Puerto Rican snake. They natural form killers, legion of skanks. Wow, 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 wow. Yes, indeed, oh, everybody. Yes. Yeah, it's good energy. It's the Legion of Skanks podcast, everybody. We're coming to you from the Stan Comedy Club. Uh, the Skanks are all here, everybody. I'm Big J Okerson. To my right, as always, Davey Smith. What the fuck is up? How is everyone? Big Dick oh. Dave Smith. Bruh, bruh. You know that just, voice. It's not that big. I just stand next to small dicked people my That's whole true. life. true. It's not a bad move. Small dick Lewis. <laughs> yeah. In the world of small dicks, the average dick man is king. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, he is the reigning defending Ellis Mania champion, father of the year shit. This first time I ever felt bad saying that. Sorry. Um, he King is the Puerto Rican rattlesnake. Point guard of podcasting. Luis J. Gomez. Thank you. Thank you for those of you who have stuck around me. For all of the other ones who have left me on the Facebook group and the Reddit, you can go fuck yourselves. People have left you? Yeah. Who left you? They all hate me now on the Reddit. Why? What? Well, I think it's because I'm me. Oh, Okay. <laughs> I, I get. It. I no, think. But why do they oh, hate you now? Yeah, because I, I get it then. I think no. I think. It, I think the cycle of is it's hating me at first, then liking me, and then I realize it's <laughs> hating me. Really, really. Yeah, and then they really hate with me. a passion. Yeah, it's yeah. the cycle of abuse. Yeah, I, I make them hate me, and then I make them love me. But I, do you think they're gonna? I, I can make them love me again. This is a crazy relationship. <laughs> but the first, I feel like the first hatred and the second hatred are way different. Yeah. Like the first hatred's like this guy's abrasive at first. And then they love you. And then the second hatred like, is no, like, this guy, this guy killed my brother. <laughs> like, I, I have a vendetta. Vendetta. Okay. We have two, yeah. All right. <laughs> All we have right. two fantastic guests on the show today, everybody. Uh, both <laughs> returning, both favorites, everyone. From the Dad Meat Podcast and Field Tripping Podcast. Make some noise for the hilarious Mr. Tim Butterly. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Righteous. And and pretty good side. We're gonna if we're gonna do the bit. Pretty good son, you know. Yeah, great son, no, great kid, dude. All right, you do your homework best. on time. You do your chores. I could be a lot to handle, but I mean, my heart's <laughs> in the right place. Hey, and, you know, Tim. Tim, I have potential. You leave me alone when I'm banging your mom, Tim. <laughs> you're a good boy. And you always know that you're a good yeah, boy. You're a Thanks. good boy. Sure, you love you love your rough and tumble play, <laughs> but whatever. That's yeah. okay. You're always horse. You're always horsing. You gotta off let me friends. get it out of my system, or I'm gonna ruin fucking dinner for everybody. <laughs> Uh, our second guest, everybody, uh, joining the show. You know him and you fucking love him. He's got a new podcast called Soder. It's available right now everywhere you get podcasts. Make some noise for the hilarious Dan Soder, everybody. What's the bit that I'm a good boy? You're a good boy also. I try to be a good boy. <laughs> I'm a little husband. Hi, I'm, I'm Dan. Hello. That's my impression of Dan. <laughs> that's not bad. Not I do, bad. Dan not does impressions, but nobody's doing impressions of Dan, and that's my thing tonight. Now, oh, is this like a punch of bully in the mouth? Hello, Hello. I'm Dan. Look at me. Is this how this feels? I don't like this. I'm sorry, <laughs> Lewis. Now, can you do Dan doing impressions? Ooh, let me try. Oh, I'm Dan. Do you guys want to hear me do Macho Man? Oh, yeah, I'm Dan doing Macho Man. Ah, that's pretty good, man. You know what? Good. You know what? Dude, I kind of like being on this side of it. Come on. <laughs> That's it's fun good. to re- That's it's, good stuff right It's there. fun to give and to receive. <laughs> that is the good stuff right there. Like, my yeah, oh, my God. That is magical to be around. <laughs> Dan's just more impressed with himself <laughs> here. Go, back to Yo, that guy does a woo! mean macho man. Oh, shit. <laughs> my Dan impression is just my impression of... Uh, so I always have one voice for several people, and you yeah. fall into the... Uh, Ralph. And Ralph. Yeah. yeah. I just go... <laughs> I, I don't want to move on from the Dan impression, but I, I had an incident today. Well, what I would describe is almost an incident. So it was. Wait, how many, wait in the Lewis factory, how many yeah. days without incident? Okay. <laughs> so, no, all right. So there was actually. We stopped. Two we have a lot of zero day buttons and Lewis one goes, day buttons. We started getting into the wood, cutting it. <laughs> they go, uh, 
You just yeah, go so to wait, the factory and you see there's you zero ask, days since incident and one day since incident, and you go, where are the two days since incident? So <laughs> you go, we've never made one. We've never, we don't even have it to. We didn't yeah. buy it yet. <laughs> um, we've never even bothered. Who needs? Who needs it? It's a waste of 15 cents. <laughs> it's just a dusty two. <laughs> why, uh, is it, why this thing hasn't been around since Lewis was a boy. <laughs> Um, it's funny when you say incident, everyone goes to like a part of me goes like, well, incident means a number of things. You could have had it out with a, a roommate, or whatever, traffic, some cashier. But everyone goes right away when you say Shit incident. It's like it almost happened again. The huh. Lewis almost. Yeah, what are you a everyone, werewolf? Every, everyone assumes you mean like you got almost into a fight with somebody. Yes. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. It was yeah, actually it was actually two if you ask my girlfriend, I got into two incidents in the past two days. The one was with it's her. So though. Funny to you go don't through. count the domestic ones. Hold on though, no. no, because you can go through Well she can barely remember that incident. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, try to tell her to tell you the incident. She doesn't know much. It's funny when you go down the aisle and call what everyone's incident is. Like mine is like, did you learn a new annoying voice? <laughs> Lewis's is fight people. Dave is like, Did you talk about politics, Dave? Did you have another incident? <laughs> I've been having, a, I've been on a good run. I haven't been having many incidents. I've just been in a better place. And but your girlfriend's mad because you had two in the last two days. Well, she doesn't even know about today's incident. Oh. She's not here. She's so not she's here. mad about the boys' night. Incident. And this incident isn't even making the podcast. She's this. not here. She wasn't. She doesn't know about this incident. <laughs> Hence the incident. Yeah. yeah. We'll get there. You guys yeah. are getting the punchline. Well, incident before number the one, I killed her. Yeah. So <laughs> this is a dateline. I said, bitch, this could have just been one incident. Now it's going to be two. <laughs> Uh, do you guys want me to go in reverse order of incidents, or do you want me to yeah, do yeah, yeah, don't <laughs> nice, yeah. Let's put this together in reverse. <laughs> Who <laughs> is Sammy Jankis? Yeah. This might be more of a special feature book. Can we I go want black a- and white on it, too? <laughs> <laughs> and then Lewis stops and then just goes six months earlier. <laughs> <laughs> the movie of Louis J. Gomez should like start with this podcast, and then at the end, when his dad gets stabbed, we go. It all makes sense. <laughs> yeah, Louis looks at a tattoo. Oh, on that's his why. Chin. Louis looks in the mirror and his ch- a tattoo on his chest says, "Fight all drivers." <laughs> what is Fight this? All drivers. Yep, that's me. Well, I must. <laughs> I bet you're wondering how I got it. <laughs> Turns out when you kill a dad, and a little boy gets violent. He's got a pull over himself, and it says, this guy has all great ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Follow anything this guy says to you. Uh, all, right, I'll t- I, all right, so today was more of an extreme incident. Let's start with that. Okay. Do you want Lewis oh, no. extreme? <laughs> I don't think so. Lewis is a Mountain Dew flavor? I think we build. I think we start with... The incident that what your girlfriend I would did, say go, yesterday wasn't even an incident, but if you ask my girlfriend and my son, <laughs> they're not him, my <laughs> other son, <laughs> can you? Your brother. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck, I forgot you won the adoption <laughs> with your boy. Yeah. Tim, if you ask your brother or your new mom, they would both say <laughs> this was an Lewis, incident. Have you gotten to the point where you can tell the story from their perspective and then at the end go, that's the time to kill it? Yeah. Because now, what if I told you that other guy? Was me. Was Dude, me. I know, like, oh. oh my god, that makes everything different. Oh, it made me so mad. Actually, the more I'm thinking about it, it's making me even fucking more mad. Okay. All right, so let's start here then. Okay. Give in to so you. yesterday, my son goes to uh, what's that massive mall in New Jersey? American Dream. American Dream Mall, which is all these fun attractions and all this shit. Right, he was going to a birthday party, which is like a, a fun activity, like escape room type thing. Um, <laughs> and afterwards, um, we were gonna get uh, food. Right, so me and my chick, while he's in doing this thing, we go up and we get a table at um, uh, fucking come on, come on, come Rainforest Cafe. No, oh my God, God. Yeah. Oh, come on, <laughs> Lewis Hand Express, oh, Arby's. Oh, come on, come on. I'm uh, gonna Sparrow's, Sparrow's. Lewis, DCBY's, Ruby, Ruby Tuesdays, the Teriyaki Chicken Place, Double Meat, Your House. Yes, dude, you just won fucking free Skank Fest tickets. You just fucking won free Skank Fest tickets. Your house. All right. I shouldn't be able to do that. I'm sorry, Christine. What is it? I'm sorry. <laughs> what was the I restaurant? I got excited. I don't know why I just did that, but he did. I got to give hey, him man, one. One, though. But Jesse has to pay. What's the restaurant? Yeah, one ticket. House. One ticket. I swear to God. And just for Friday night. One day, one ticket. He goes, only off-site shows. <laughs> you got to fly yourself out. You get yourself a room for one night. And you have to be out early the next day. Friday. Also, one ticket for Friday. Is That's there, good, dude. Is there a chance that James calls Lewis's girlfriend his chick, dad's chick? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, hey, dad, are you and your chick coming? <laughs> all day, like, hey, you and your chick go get a table, and I'm going to go finish this escape room. <laughs> <laughs> What's your chick getting? I'll share hers. <laughs> she goes, no, 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 that's not my name. He goes, you're dad's chick. <laughs> You're not even my real dad's <laughs> chick. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, 
Oh, shit. Oh, my God, Big J, if you're there and you're... Oh, he left. There he is. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Sir, poke your face in again. Big J stunt double, everyone. There we go. Come on, J folks. Yeah. <laughs> For my lighting. <laughs> Stand in. You go, hey, thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> we love the Eagles, and we don't take shit from anyone. <laughs> he really does look like you. Um, so we go to Yard House while he's in this escape room, and we're going to get a table, but we're like, yeah, fuck it. Let's just go sit at the bar. Who gives a shit, right? Um, so we order some food, whatever, we order a drink. He Wait, you said him doing an escape room by himself or with like another a birthday, a birthday party? No, oh, you just let him loosen them all and then he told <laughs> yeah, him, find yeah. me, that's the escape room. <laughs> yeah. Here's the escape room. <laughs> Daddy, it says Foot Locker. Yeah. It's an escape room. Go Get in the in back. There. If you find your papa, you win coming back home. <laughs> <laughs> I put him in a sexiest outfit and I let him off into a world of pedophiles. Um, no, he... He went to go to this escape room with his friends for a birthday party. We go to Yard House, and we're sitting down having some food and drinks. I go to pick him up from the party, and it's taking a little bit longer than I think it's going to take. So I tell my chick to put in a burger for him. I was like, put in a burger for him. I call her. And so she puts a burger for him. We come back. Um, you up. said burger for him way more times burger than you needed to. <laughs> burger for him. I tell her to put in a burger for so much she puts in a burger for I don't want to know. I wanted to go, like, is a burger for him the way they, is that, like, their specialty burger? Burger for him? I don't want The burger for him. Burger for him. So I go up to James. I go, James, don't worry. I just put a burger in for him. I don't want to know the answer yet, but I hope everyone's following the possibility that within the story, Lewis's quote-unquote incident happened either at a yard house or a child's birthday party. <laughs> Honestly, uh, you and he take... already said, and he already said, I'm just giving you the clues. You no, want to take action right now? Based uh, on where well, we let me are right well, now? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Dave, if I'm right, there is a uh, Friday Night Skankfest ticket on the line for the winner of this contest right now. I am... I, I do selfishly want a little bit of surf and turf. I want a little bit of a children's party, maybe at the yard house. Okay, it's very possible that's the in case. In front of James's friend would suffice. If I'm, if I'm using my detective skills here, the clues I would say so far is he goes, and I'm waiting for him at the party. Taking a little longer than I thought. Seems like there's so, the, there's the scene ooh, of frustration. Dude, yeah. I love I love being a Lewis detective. This <laughs> okay. thing's got blow up all yeah, over I it. I will tell you, and as somebody who has a PhD in Lewis, <laughs> I will say that you're right, Jay. That could seemingly be a clue. But don't put it past Lewis to take all of that frustration from the party out on some poor Mexican restaurant workers. I do believe also... Only in only a f matter of a few I, minutes. Because I, you're correct in also the situation. Just, just I, mean, I will say, Dave is fluent in Lewis. <laughs> Dave, the, Dave. The details that he got in that fucking story. <laughs> Dave, I give him nothing. I thought, about right, I, thought going, about, I thought about it right away and thought that there might be and a And I will say, let me, I will apologize to Carlos from the Yard House at the American Dream Mall yeah, right now publicly. Please. See, Mr. I'll go burger for him. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Burger for him. But, that's it. but Dave, you're right, because I was thinking that too. When he also says it was taking longer than he expected, it seems <laughs> like the problem's going to be because it's taking so long, something's going on problematic at the yard house. Love, I, I want to go outside so shot on a go. text from the I chick just, saying, What's well, taking so long? Yeah. It's like the sad Mexican. I was told burger Mr. for him. Mr. I have burger for him. Mr. Mr. Why is it got Table. to be a problem? Salt and pepper calamari. <laughs> Show me where there's pepper on this calamari. He <laughs> said, can get Senor, the pepper. 30, table 35, burger for him. Burger for him. He said burger for him like 30 times. Oh, what do you think? Why. Is that real Angus? Is that real I Angus? I see the burger. Where's the for him? $37 for a burger. Better be Wagyu. <laughs> So you you go get James. I go get James. It's taking a little bit goes, longer. Did you put? Did your chick put in my order? <laughs> <laughs> hey, your chick didn't fuck on my order, did she? <laughs> I always say no mayo. She gets mayo. The thought of James being super <laughs> shitty to all. <laughs> hey, this dingbat figure out my order. <laughs> so uh, it, it, I mean, it takes a really long time for him to get out. So I, you know, I've, my my chicken sandwich is getting cold. This really has very little to do with the story. We get, we come back. I come no, back it was up. important. Your chicken nah, sandwich. No, dude, cold chicken cold. sandwich is fuel to the fire for yeah. sure. That's not great. Oh, by the way, it's a Nashville hot chicken sandwich Ooh, and it's cold. Irony, it's in the right? name. It, you uh, need it to be hot. Is that ironic? I think that's irony. It is irony. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't you think? <laughs> that, that bitch Alanis Morissette jumbled my brains. <laughs> also, I need a knife and you brought me 10,000 spoons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is this, a free ride when I've already paid? <laughs> Who's that walking? Is that the man of my dreams? And he's got a wife. <laughs> Okay. Oh, 
But don't you think? He goes, I know table 35. Burger for him. Burger for him. Burger for him. He's like, burger for him. When I like, ordered it, was in Nashville hot? <laughs> no, so I don't want no problems with burger <laughs> for him. Yeah, there's his wife. <laughs> <laughs> 10,000 spoons. Spoons everywhere. Where's my fucking knife? This might what as well be Ray Ayn on my wedding day. <laughs> I have one chicken tortilla soup, 10,000 spoons. <laughs> I hope you take a flight and it crashes <laughs> after you've been waiting so long to take that flight. Oh, fuck me, dude. <laughs> it's a good bit. Clip it up, Paco. Jeep, jeep, jeep. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so I get back with James. We go. Oh, you guys are back together. Do we go? To, we go to. <laughs> we go to the bar. His burger just get just gets there as we sit down. Oh, good hot. timing. It's hot. It's making you piss. Perfect. You have a cold. Ooh, too chicken. hot. I got a cold chicken. So sandwich. that's uh, the burger for him couldn't have worked out better. Burger for him is chilling. Uh, as we're sitting there, about to start eating, oh, I am eating. I'm eating. James starting to eat his burger. Uh, no Mex- cheese, Mexican Dad, Carlos, literally name is Carlos. Chick. A Mexican named Carlos, man. He I could have really been Puerto fucking... Rican, who knows? But he was a Latino named, we're going to call him Mexican. Mexican named Carlos comes up to Dude, me. Dude, I fucking nailed, nailed it. it. I swear to God, that summer abroad I spent studying Lewis was yeah. worth yeah. it. <laughs> I, it no, really fucking. Dave, but I wasn't joking when I say you are a Lewis detective. You can go yeah. in and uh, go, what did you see in there? You went, the light switch. It was on. But I, I, Nothing was plugged in. And then someone comes up to Soda and he's like, what's this guy doing? Let him work. They told you. Do the <laughs> <Defoe> from <laughs> he's like he's just, but he's just sniffing the wall. The cab, him work. The cab pulled up. <laughs> you're like, you're doing all the Lewis arguments. He gets in. He slides the thing and starts screaming at the guy for making a turn that he goes, thought was the wrong turn, but wasn't takes the right his Mountain Dew, <laughs> pours it on the seat in Office, front of the guy. He goes, "Officer, do me a favor. Close that sliding glass door." What the hell are you looking at? Can't hear anything. <laughs> all right, Lewis didn't do right, this. I'll kill you and your entire fucking family. <laughs> Let me tell you, I've been looking for a case. <laughs> Nothing, right? Okay. <laughs> they would have heard him across the hallway <laughs> for something as simple as a messed up burger for him. <laughs> <laughs> it's something as simple as a cold Nashville hot. <laughs> so we're eating our food. This Mexican Carlos comes nom, up. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know if we're doing every story. <laughs> <laughs> nom, nom, nom. This could be hotter. Finger lick, finger lick. Yeah. Up walks Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're doing this for the audio, guys. <laughs> he was in a car. Uh, and he goes, he's like, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, the kid can't be at the bar. Um, Standard. Yeah, which I, I do understand. It's the rule like, in every civilized country. Well, Why'd you cut him off earlier? Well, I mean, no, look, we're at a, I mean, look, we're all Oh, that, that fight wasn't his fault. We're it's a funny thing to say back to oh, he didn't start that We're fight. at a yard house. And it's not like, it's not a, we didn't go to a fucking bar. It's a restaurant. It's like going to the bar at Chili's and fucking sitting down. Whatever, if it's state law or whatever. Also, it is, you can't bring your kid there. I'm who knows? Sure. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. I, is it state law? Should, it, should you? Look. Right. <laughs> Who fucking cares? Whoa, My kid dude. can sit right there, but he can't sit right here. It's fucking sort of crazy. No. I'm going to shoot him full of heroin as soon as we get home, so what difference does it make? That's What's how, the big deal? That's how babies sleep all night, so I can bang my chick. <laughs> Me and my chick are having a Mai Tai with two straws while my son stares weirdly. Oh, don't worry. As we publicly kiss a lot. Oh, don't worry. I give him his chillax pills. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he'll be down in a few minutes. He'll have no idea what's going on. You know you can give Dramamine to kids anytime you feel like it. <laughs> yeah, he goes, sir. It's legal. Sir, everyone knows everyone knows you're fingering your girlfriend under the seat. He goes, Yeah, the boy's asleep. <laughs> you munched his burger, it's nappy time. <laughs> so I was like, okay. I was like, yeah, I understand. I was like, I was like, all right, I guess I can we have a table. So then he's like, Oh, you you gotta go to the the woman, the hostess. the hostess, and have them get you a table. And I was like, no. God damn it. No. I'm not. There was a, Did you ball your fist up by your son you said it? <laughs> no. There was a waiter. No. There was a waiter stereotypically wiping out a glass when it happened. He went, here we go. <laughs> Another one of these. No. Uh, no. It's look, I understand what happened here. We already were sitting at the bar. I now brought a kid into the bar and you your were, policy you were that, wrong. Yeah. Kind of, no. sort of wrong, sort of, kind Very, of. I mean, you should have went barely wrong. You should have went into the game I'm knowing. You, so far, you should have went into the game knowing. I'm with you. I'm with you. It's your dad. <laughs> yeah, no, someone should have come over and moved your shit for yeah, you. Yeah, they should have done like the table already clean, but still like a quick wipe down. Like, here, sorry. He so here's my question. Deal with his like I understand like uh, 
And so I start, I'm, I'm like, no. I was like, you can go. Uh, he was like, sir. And so I'm kind of like barking at the guy being me. No, kind of like. No, no, by Jenna. the way, Lewis is not saying anything. He's just going, ruff, ruff, <laughs> ruff, 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 ruff. <laughs> ah, big dog got to eat. Hot mash, no chicken. Guy's going, down. Down. <laughs> down. <laughs> so I'm biting his pants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. so I'm, I'm biting his pants. And then another, and then another, Paul Puerto Rican showed up on the TV. I started yelling at that thing. So I'll be honest. He's so trying to get his ankle out of my mouth. So the guy starts going, I hump his leg a little bit, but whatever. <laughs> I'm not going to make a whole Lewis's thing. Lewis's chick is always yeah. like, we can't watch anything with a bald, aggressive guy on it, or Lewis goes nuts. I lift my leg, I pee all over Carlos in his booth, I leave. <laughs> no, dude. So I'm just kind of like being just kind of snappy, being like, no. I was like, I was like you, You're that's your sassy. job. I was like, he was like, he was like, sorry, you can just go over there. And I, and I was like, give me your manager. So then he goes, I am the manager. They're uh, always the manager. Uh, the impossible, <laughs> Carlos. <laughs> He said, no, no, senor. This is a no, white sorry, boss, sir. Manager. He goes, senor, my name is Carlos Yard. <laughs> He's in my house. Me nombre, me nombre is this. You are Carlos. in Yard Casa. <laughs> casa de Yard. <laughs> we didn't want to call it that. So, the, so I'm, like, I'm like, no. I was like, you can go. So I can have my arms crossed. Now I look over. Jenna and James are now walking to the fucking booth at the front. The host is standing. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, I'm like oh, James, oh. don't be a pussy. <laughs> Seriously, this guy's so fine. <laughs> it's, it's crazy to know that James is going to have a permanent imprint from doing this so much. Oh, dude, for sure. His glasses already have a groove. Where he goes, Dad's at a fuck. Fuck, dude. Fuck. Let me say this is a positive thing. Lewis is... The awesomest dad, though, to like the other kids. Like that's the best. That video of Lewis freaking out at the uh, I Fly, and it's great because you, it's it's Bobby Kelly filming it, kind of having like the oh Christ, there's yeah. Lewis freaking out. James definitely has like the hand the as <laughs> Max Kelly standing up trying to see it. He loves it. It's like always Max it. Kelly. It's like it's he's watching Monday Night Raw, dude. He's I, <laughs> jumping up and down <laughs> eating popcorn. I wouldn't be surprised if Max Kelly grows up to name a band the Lewis J Gomez. <laughs> He goes, what is your name, band name? Everybody goes, oh, dude, this is psycho with the fucking early aughts. My friend James's dad, shout out Jimmy. Your dad was on Not Bad. What's up? We're Louis J. Gomez's, and this is Facts Get Out Our Way. One, two, three, four. This next song's Fact. called Ironically Racist. Two, three, four. He invents a new singing style like Eddie Vedder, but it's Lewis' voice. <laughs> hey, get out of my way. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Pro choice. Good night. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ, dude. This is Doggy. nuts. So they're now beelining to the hostess stand. So that now I'm they're like, trying, they're trying to leave. They're trying now to do this. They're now, trying to leave. Like, well, yeah. no, that's what I call any woman who leaves me. It's a beeline. <laughs> <laughs> Named after the great oh, Beatrice. Yeah. He goes, she goes, I'm leaving. He goes, bitch, get in the beeline. <laughs> <laughs> Doggy. So th then I'm like, now I'm fucking, I'm walking over like, I'm, 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 United Front. <laughs> they're trying to leave. No, they're just trying to go get a, uh, do what the manager of the restaurant oh, said. Oh, go get a go, table. Yeah, from the host. Get a, they're trying to go get a nice booth. Yeah, they're trying to, yeah. So then I'm like, no, I was like, we got to have a United Front. And then. United Front is a fight to say yeah. in a yard house. <laughs> Lewis well, well, I will say, my girlfriend Yelling did say something. Yelling at a woman and a child in front of like a quarter machine <laughs> carousel at the mall. Like, yeah, my fucking bed back there. <laughs> All right, when shit goes down, I get your six. <laughs> <laughs> when my shit goes down, you get my six. You can we ask questions later, you? though. You get my back. If you don't agree with me, we talk yeah, about it outside. Yeah. Goes, uh, that's the way, I, friend, dude, Dave. Friends and family, dog. Is that not yes. the truth? Yeah, dude, you're talking about your 10-year-old, dude. Yeah. What are you saying right now? <laughs> Why did we not go back to back like a fucking John Woo movie yeah. and pull out our duel? Why did I? Desert Eagles. You know what happened? And go John Woo on the Why did I place? even bring three swords <laughs> if we weren't going to get go back to back to back? <laughs> You're being a real tum tum right now, <laughs> Dougie. I'm fucking just saying you're uh, never gonna grow up to be John Wick Four if you have this kind of behavior. <laughs> Look, we should have had a United Front, and that's fine. So we go to our table, and then I... Did I, you and James have a long talk about United Front <laughs> after this, when you got home? He's James, got, yeah, you he's back lives. your daddy's play, whatever that play is. The coach kind makes of, the call, and the player goes yeah, with Dave, it. Dave, he goes, All kind right, of yes. No audibles night, here, boy. Good night, baby. Good night to you, baby James. Hey, Dad. Yeah? <laughs> What's a United Front? <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you hear that? Well, like, do you ever hear when like the white kids used to link arms so black kids couldn't get into school? <laughs> That's called a united front. You know how you your see, mom? baby James, in times of war, yeah. 
remember how I wasn't allowed over to your grandpa and grandma's house for a little bit? <laughs> and everyone said it was the right choice? They had a united front. Remember those? Remember when grandma and grandpa would give mama supportive back rubs? That's united front. And so you could always move home? <laughs> so I, I will say, though, it ended with me apologizing to Carlos. There you go. I did. I was like, hey, you know what? Your family shamed you, dude. Your family's wrong. You were right. No, dude, you were right. They were wrong. I was right, by the way. Jay, I wasn't wrong, doggy. I'll be honest with you. Carlos, you know where he works. I'd go back. If you're a if you're a Lewis, if you have a, your doctorate in Lewis, mm -hmm. Jay's like a farmer that knows how to control an animal because <laughs> he just got he goes, no, I can whip him up. <laughs> and Lewis was like, yeah, American Dream Mall, dude, big yeah. parking lot. That, J Jay's the farmer who's like, all right, Dave, you may have written three books on rattlesnakes, but let me show you how to fucking deal with yeah. one. It's right like get now. one to bite somebody. Yeah. Carlos yeah. is going to get you gold and your college speared. learning. <laughs> yeah. But I would not call that an incident. It's close. My family yes. would call it an yes. incident. Anybody else would. But anybody yes. else would. But and that's you, not an incident. No, it is because I'll tell you what. Not on the Lewis curve. No. I, here's right. how I grade an incident in something like that at a public place. Multiple tables through the duration of the time you were there. This had a discussion about you. Oh. People watching. It's a Can thing I tell you right do. now? There definitely was a this. You see this? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, hold on, hold on. Chill. Sure. 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 Don't turn around. Don't look at it. Go, no, don't get this guy filming you. Don't, don't film this. Do you want any more of the calamari? He goes, He goes, you want anything? He goes, yeah, just bring us some bread. Do you eat the fruit ones? He goes, Miss, miss, please. I'm trying to hear what they're saying. What? What are you looking at? No, what? Looking Your wife's making it really Why odd. Why are you being what? weird? Is there someone... You're being weird. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What does that mean? Oh, I want to eat. So that was, that was it. You, they walked over. Can I ask you, you apologized. The... I apologized. You back That's down. a Lewis Can three. I feel like this is a red herring? What was the That's first I... incident? That, oh, oh, no, that this was... is no, the, that's first. the first. We're going to the second. Which is That's not that big of a deal. That's not that big a deal. You know what you guys just did for me? You know, on Christmas when you think all the presents are over and then your mom goes, oh, I think I see one behind the desk. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, until you go over and look at the tag, you're still not totally sure it's for you. you. You're like, this one's probably for someone else. It is me. <laughs> Santa. Let it rip, Lewis. Uh, I mean, this one's probably less of a story. This is like you tuning your guitar. And more of an interpretive <laughs> dance. I don't know. It's more of a definite 100% incident. Unquestionably an incident. Okay. That's funny because today you said I had an almost incident. I think yesterday was an almost. Or the, yeah, yesterday. No, no, then you said, if you, you said if you asked my chick, there was two, but today I had an almost incident. Well, now you're saying it's an incident. And I now mean, you're saying your chick doesn't know about two. What's going on, Lewis? I almost died today via incident. Okay. Whereas yesterday's was my son looked at me with okay. disappointment in his eyes. A different okay. kind of death. A familiar, I can't a familiar <laughs> no, it's familiar. Me and Dave are always waiting for the call. And today Lewis almost died of a broken heart. <laughs> Christine goes, oh, I'll get the keys. <laughs> so uh, I'm driving. Um, I ended up saying in the city, I was doing YKWD. This is after YKWD, or I'm sorry, the regs. And uh, shout out the regs. And uh, we... I'm, I'm driving sitting right next to you. I'm driving. Yeah, shout out the regs. Shout out the other regs. Thanks. So we're. Uh, I'm driving back to the Gas Digital Studios because I'm going to do the Web First show. And I'm um, lucky, <laughs> dude. I, did, this is a I was a star-studded story. Okay, I did real ass podcast today. The regs, the Web First show, and we now the show. I mean, and I'm on fire right now. Whoa. I'm just warming up, bitch. Whoa. Whoa. Let's go. That's how good. Cut I Cut to podcast. thirty minutes from now, Lewis. Is <laughs> <laughs> you told so much of your stuff. You had to have an incident today to come <laughs> in hot. I'm telling you right now. He goes, hey. Fuck you. <laughs> hey, Gabby. Yes? <laughs> Fuck right off. Well, I, I, I am saying, dude, the more, with the, even when we're talking about these minor incidents, I'm like, you know what? I miss having incidents. This is fun to talk about. We all love it. It's fun. Isn't this great? It's great for the podcast. It yes. is great for the oh, podcast. I love, I love a day where Lewis is trying to get an incident for the podcast and no one's taking him up on it. That's his, him, op him that's his open notebook. Where he yeah. goes, what else? What else? <laughs> Try to find a guy on a yeah. bike? No. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be $13. You're not going to ask me if that was my entire order, you <laughs> cocksucker. Got him. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Sir. Sorry about that. He comes, in the, he comes in the house with the paper. <laughs> James, I got one. <laughs> oh, dude. And some guy walks next to me in the street and says, excuse me, sir. What the fuck did you yeah. just say? It's not a walk sign yet. Oh, now it is. <laughs> it's this. It's, this sign. it's, it's this not scene. a fucking walk. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's the scene piece from... of shit. Wait for it, though. <laughs> it's the scene from Fight Club where they all have to go out and pick a fight. <laughs> and, it's, and it's hard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Lewis is struggling. So, so how'd you pick an incident today, today. Lewis? So I'm driving back, and a cab driver 
Yeah. It's so, the only person who can fight with cab drivers from his own car. Yeah. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I miss it, you know? A cab driver <laughs> cuts me off in like a crazy way. Like just right, like almost fucking hits my car. And I'm very sensitive about car accidents these days. I've gotten into, dude, my car insurance got so crazy. You think they would make them You've been driving for two three years. For you. What'd you say? You've been driving for three years. You've had five so many accidents. fucking problems. Five, well, accidents. You really do drive like a hot chick. I, their own tire. They're uh, not accidents. They're fucking fender benders, man. When the cops Dude. show up, he goes, I had another accident. <laughs> Oopsie. I would have changed the tire myself if the tire wasn't so big. And Do you know you're not supposed heavy. to drive backwards on those claw things? <laughs> <laughs> I think they're called treadles. <laughs> I pronounce every letter. So, but I'm like, dude, like, if somebody hits my car, it's going to be like a problem. Like, I, I can't have any more accidents. Right. <laughs> So it's uh, insane how many you've had. It, it's crazy, dude. Um, and I and I had to like change that insurance. Sucks. My insurance, dude. They tried to charge me eighteen hundred dollars a month for, insurance, <laughs> for car insurance. Jesus, eighteen hundred dollars per month. That's a car. So I had. I got to, an accident. It's a was... fucking Lamborghini. It's a car. I got an accident. Uh, every I... month you could buy an eighteen hundred dollar car somewhere. I got an accident. When no, I, was I mean 17. like a, for like a lease for a Lamborghini. Like that's what it would fucking cost you. Actually, I don't know, but it probably I look assume, it up. No. Look up how much you could lease. How much could you lease a Lamborghini for? What car can you get for eighteen hundred months? And then the insurance. I think it's more than eight. I think, no, but maybe like five years ago you could have gotten So a decent driver, years. let's say, oh, wait, what Tim, can you lease for $1,300 and pay have you, $500 for How many accidents have you been driving in your life? Where you, you were the driver? Definitely under 10. That's a lot. Yeah. Under five. Yeah. 10's a lot. Maybe maybe five or less. Five or less for me. Well, Mel, because I said it's a lot. It's five or less it's for me. I'm, tell, I'm telling you, for me, I think, it's, I think I'm two or three, and one of them when I was 17. Yeah, and one of them was in the parking lot of my high school. And then someone rear-ended me. Dave doesn't know how to drive yet, though. It doesn't fully oh, care. I forgot. I, mean, I think that I still get credit for no accidents. True. Whatever. Oh, his all-state numbers would be awesome. <laughs> oh my God, Jake would be coming in those khakis. <laughs> <laughs> so I ended up changing insurance companies, and I had to pay six months up front. I still had to pay like seven hundred. Do you know how month. crazy it is that they were like, "Hey, bud, six hundred bucks," or we're not even getting the conversation started? And no, it's nuts. It's, it's nuts. crazy because you've been driving only for a few years <laughs> again. You well, that's the problem forever. when you don't drive for that long, and you're a new driver that. What? That counts against you. Oh, that's bullshit. Yeah, it's not. You don't get cheap insurance for that. They go, oh, we're no, charged. no, no. I'm saying it's cheap insurance. I'm my my insurance to begin it's crazy. with. Was, I'm saying in the short amount of time they, that you've been actively driving. But listen, yeah. when I first had insurance, it, was it costs five, more because they're afraid new drivers are going to get into a lot of accidents. Yeah, I know. <laughs> for <laughs> you, dude. But I, some guy's right. He's but just I, like, I called this. But when I first got insurance, it was almost five hundred dollars a month. It wasn't like it I'm was always expensive sure. as fuck. Someone went. We got a whale. Check this guy's record out. <laughs> Get fucking 2K a month from this guy. Let's so monitor the, his comedy career and always just charge him enough to yeah. not ruin him. Guy Skankfett's <laughs> tickets went on sale. <laughs> also coincided with two accidents. So this cab driver cuts me off in a really dangerous way, like super close to my car where I have to like swerve out of the way. Um, so I fucking slam on my horn, right? Honk, honk. Good job picking it up. What are you doing? Get the fuck out of the way. You okay, mister? It's a black guy. It's me, it's Carlos from fucking Yard House. I also drive a cab sometimes. I am also the manager here. I am the manager. The cops get there. Wee wee So he uh he goes to pull to make a right. And I pull up right next to him, and I roll my window down. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what the fuck's going on, man? He's like, oh, yeah, I'm driving like an idiot, right? And I was like, yeah, you're fucking driving like an idiot. So then he pulls off, and I decide that I'm going to chase him. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'm going to chase him. I think, wait, am I, tell me if I'm wrong. Is it about to turn into an incident? I would say, uh, you know what, Ed, the more I describe this, it's already an incident. Would you start Lewis, having a road Lewis, chase? Lewis, before you think I'm going to be sarcastically getting your back here a little bit, Christine, <laughs> have we been in... Four or five car chases in <laughs> our lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been, I've been, in, I've been yeah. in one with Jay. What the fuck is yeah, this? Yeah, Dave was in a car chase with. What kind of, what kind of life are you, are you guys living that you go car chase time? <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't even know, dude. Until you're like <laughs> everything in my. Sorry, guys. Matter, nothing wrote, matters more. <laughs> if a cop gets behind me right now, he's following me until I drive this guy off the road, <laughs> and we're all gonna get and, it. And who's to blame? HBO for airing <laughs> Ronan. <laughs> that car chase scene is sick, and it's all up in my mind. I, uh, I've never. Ever decided to car chase anyone? Is I don't fucking drive, but I have been in Jay's. Do passenger you mind seat. race him? Do you I've, like? <laughs> I've been in Jay's passenger seat when he's decided to race him, and then you realize chase. that you're also decided yeah, chase. To, to chase him, and then you realize you have a 
united front, whether you like it or not. <laughs> like, you're like, we we're, were doing united this, front. We're doing this saying, my, my, my foot was united to my gas pedal. <laughs> and it is standard yeah. in, if you're riding shotgun with Jay when he does that, you go, get him, boss! It, it was Dave and Isabella. And yes, they both had my back in a very John Woo type way. I bet you they fucking they did. did. You're goddamn fucking it's right. You know what? Clip this and send it to James. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you, James, if you're listening, if me and Isabella could have walked over to the podium, we would have. Like, yeah. If there was an option for us to go, just be like, we could do, go talk. There's to no this podium in the player. chase world. <laughs> 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 Only if. <laughs> Sorry, you're buckled in, buddy. <laughs> okay, yeah. so I get. So right now, I'm full team Lewis. We're on a high speed chase against this man who disrespected you in traffic that it's you'll never deal a, with again. It's not even a high speed chase. He has to learn he does. what justice is. <laughs> By the way, I if, bring justice to the world. What if it didn't even register for the guy he's driving? He goes, hey, I think that's the guy that yelled at me. <laughs> me and Jay are literally the same guy in this regard because it's, it's like, the no, only I just couldn't fucking. The way his cock sucking attitude was like, oh, I guess I'm the other way. I'm driving. It's like, yeah. God has placed me in this position <laughs> to make sure he never does this again or get killed trying to show him that. So, what do we do next, dude? So now he's driving. He's driving east. We're coming up the avenue. Now he makes the right to go east, right? And she's challenging you. No, but he's, he's going to go east. He's That's your coast. <laughs> <laughs> he's, gonna, he's, he's going on your turf. What's gotta, your What's your sign in on oh, all your emails? Beast of the east. <laughs> it's my favorite direction. So I go east, cocksucker. <laughs> you go west. <laughs> <laughs> So he's driving east, and I know now I can go east and follow him. As soon as he makes it, I was like, dude, well, now, now you're going to fucking at least have You're me. alone in the car, right? I'm alone in the car. Yeah. He's gonna God's with him. He's going to have to stop at a light. <laughs> Jesus has the wheel. <laughs> I know what's going to happen. He's going to have to stop at a light, and now I can get out of my car and start barking out of his window. And wait, can I, I ask you, wait, I have you, a plastic you, bottle. You were going east. Oh, also, those hurt. Those are, you going, were, you going east to, or were you going east to, or did you go out of your way to a different direction to follow. Were you going south? I was going really? east. Uh, I was going east anyway, but I wasn't. Did was, you change your path to follow him? Very slightly. Because that's actually, that's, you know what? That's yes, what a that's, I, I, that's what a goddamn chick right. in the car would change. It would have been over there if they go because they're going to go. Are you really going to go a different <laughs> direction to follow this guy? Yeah. They go. Not if that's your reaction to it. If you were going to be like, let's get this fuck. <laughs> I'd go, yeah. I'd start fingering her in the car while we're driving. Just get him, baby. Like fucking, fucking get him. Yeah, Mad Max. I want somebody on top of the car playing the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Isabella. <laughs> Isabella's, Isabella's on one of those things that goes yeah, all the way down. <laughs> Christine's your blood bag. <laughs> Uh, no, I. It's funny. Is this what a it's chick? All <laughs> <laughs> what a chick I am! Like what, what a terrible sense of direction I have. Like I think he's not changing my direction, but actually he ends up changing my direction in a way where I hit an avenue where I now I have guess to go. I live west. <laughs> this guy somewhere is calmly retelling this story as it got you to Lewis. No, this was not a calm person. So he goes, I at this time know he is going to follow me. <laughs> I can see his anger. He does so, control up you. No, this is like an old, this is an older black guy. <laughs> Jay. Nice, Jay, nice. Your favorite type. Oh yeah. And uh, so, what the crazy boy doing? Yeah. Is, it, <laughs> yeah. is it boy? Am I in the middle of a chase, boy? You must. Be. I ain't been no part of a chase since. <laughs> let me call it 1967. <laughs> and the times were different then. So, <laughs> old black man, teach me how to fight different, <laughs> now but you more see, effective. They say the punch starts from the shoulder, but it really starts in the heart. Starts tapping him on the back of his head. <laughs> That's that Puerto Rican that got you. <laughs> yeah. You letting that Puerto Rican temper little take fiery, you. Little fiery, little fiery chihuahua. I don't need you to harness that energy and become more like a calm collie. <laughs> so you're so, chasing him. Are you on his ass? Yeah, I pull up right fucking. You put that in between my fingers and pulled it out before <laughs> I clamped him down. It was wacky. <laughs> I realized you handed it to me. Oh. Yeah. All right. Huh. All right. The cipher usually. Uh, yeah, it's all good, dude. Yeah. Um, so he there pulls up to the next avenue, and I'm gonna pull up behind. And my plan is I'm gonna. I have a plastic uh, soda bottle in my car. Pl a plastic, plastic soda bottle. Plastic. Plastic. Uh, Filled di with Diet soda? Pepsi. Here's Halfway what, full. So here's what Lewis. You, what you don't understand is like when they do the research ten years from now, all the Lewis that is spread that people have watched, just being third parties, being like, look at this guy. Yeah. How many of those people are in the world? Oh. You give six people that almost every time you're in an incident. Is it weird, though, the people that you draw to yourselves? Like, Lewis is telling the story, and so far I'm completely in. And it reminds me of the thing. I always say that my friend Glenn, you met Glenn before, yeah. 
my buddy Glenn from growing up, in the back of his car, we had a, he had a basket of baseballs we found at parks. So when someone did something, you wait for them to get off the exit. And as yeah. they're getting off the exit, you hang out the window and see if you could bash their back <laughs> fucking window in. I think For Lewis, what they've done. This, this isn't just like thrill yeah. kill for shit. What I'm talking, I'm like, for what done. they've done. I think Lewis is... <laughs> no. 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 Stand up. Stand up. Don't do it. James. For what they've done! James, if you're watching. For what they've done! For what they've done! For what? You don't have to take it anymore, folks. Uh, I'm they'll con- all pay! I'm convinced. Yes, Dan? I'm convinced Lewis only drinks half. Two kids died after Jake threw a baseball at <laughs> <in> their car. <laughs> my bro- we lost my brother that week. <laughs> Lewis only drinks half sodas, just always in case. Where he goes, and that's enough for goes, me? Man, I sure would like the second half of this soda, but I can't. What if there's a guy that challenges me? <laughs> So your plan is to throw this. So my plan is to uh, I'm going to throw it out his window. Like it's, open it's got, the top. It's got some stuff in it. Yeah. And so you're so going to you, open the top. And yeah. Throw you don't throw it out the bottom. It's, it's, it's not going to break his window, but it's going to thud. No, but if you're lucky, it goes it hits all over. It, the place. it freaks him out. Yeah. And he <laughs> swerves and crashes into a tree and flies <laughs> yeah. out of the front of the car like the movie The Happening. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Maybe. And like he hits a tree probably. Yeah. Oh, wouldn't that be great? So, go on. So my plan is to go up to him and fucking peg this out of his window. Get End out of my life. car. End get out life. of my car and peg this out of his window. You know what? As a father, as a very public figure, I think this is great. <laughs> I think it's great. I, look, I am in a road rage incident, and I'm in a chase. What do you want me to say? I'm not thinking clearly right now, no, Dan. I get it. Yeah. Christine had to wait for me. You got to fight, She had motor. to wait for me walking to do a three-pull lug in through my nose yeah. to spit in the window of a cab driver one Love time. It. And I, by the way, I also considered the spit, but I had the half bottle of Pepsi, and I feel like that was literally and figuratively more impactful. Save your spit. You're doing the right thing. Thank you. Okay, so, so how does it end up? How are you guys not realizing how right <laughs> Lewis is in this story? For once in his life, he's killing it, dude. It's, just, it's starting to real. I'm starting to realize he's getting ready to deliver justice. I'm starting to realize that I'm friends with the guys that Batman beats up in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I like, was here for justice. You, know, you guys ever see a scared lady walking down the street and you laugh and you run your knife along the wall? No, dude. Me and Lewis are like Batman. We're good here, dude. Yeah. Figure out some other shit. We're bringing justice to these. Yeah. This Batman, guy, why are you fighting yeah. me? This this guy slapped my hood when he crossed the street, so I'll deal out justice for that. You go handle the real criminals. And I, and I yell down a dark hallway, hey, pretty lady, where are you going? <laughs> so I'm going to just throw, I'm going to peg my, my half bottle of soda at his window. That's my whole plan. He's it's, getting off light. He's getting off super light. I'm not going to fucking beat him up. I'm not going to, now if he gets out of his car, we might have a problem. Listen, and he's, not, and he's when I say older, he's not like seventy. He's like I would say like maybe fifty. Yeah, and you have fifty black is like fucking thirty six. He, he might fuck you up, and though. you haven't fully yeah. decided. Drop him in one yeah, punch. Yeah, you seriously. haven't fully yet decided if you're gonna bust off his window when you get there as mirror, right? No, I've never done. That's crazy. But you're thinking about it. No, I never thought about that. Jay, why are you stepping up? Are you guys, day, teach, are you guys teaching each other road rage karate? Dude, it turns out Jay's a serial killer of Do you know road how serious rage. You would look if you axe kicked someone's fucking <laughs> rear view mirror or their uh, their side <laughs> mirror off. Jay's like, Jay's like, show me paint the fence. I'm like, what? <laughs> show me guy cut you off. <laughs> show me looked at you too long. Show me said, I'm sorry, sir, we're closed. You can't come in. <laughs> so Dude, that'd be nuts. You're at the red light. You think you got away with it. And then just a jean short comes <laughs> down on your mirror. <laughs> that was a pretty crisp crescent <laughs> kick. Dude, that is wild. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I flipped off the I, blue meanie back I, there. I, 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 I love the stories. I love the, story, I love the stories being stretched out because no, let me beautiful. see. It's beautiful podcasting. Yeah, right in now, a very, folks. in a very. By the way, this is a damn near perfect podcast so far. No. In a very. Let's not do that. In a very. Let's not do that. Lewis, you'll appreciate this. In a very quick thing, a few weeks ago, Christine got to watch this. I don't know if we've even talked about it ever since. I my crispy white sneakers were still crispy white. Mm. And we went outside. It was like a. The, it was like a. Which snow. for a, a retired wigger is a big deal. <laughs> big deal. Big deal. That's the equivalent of like our grandpa's generation getting a new suit. I'll tell you what. Keith Robinson said that he missed Black Jay. He wants Black Jay back, and I went out and bought Red Timberlands immediately. Oh my God! He's ca- calling everybody and their mom's son. So I was. I tried to call an Uber to go to work, and like it was like a shitty day outside. Really like bad weather, and. Um, and it was just taking, it was like 15 minute waits. It was like crazy waits for Uber. So I was like, yeah. And then me and Christine were waiting for a few minutes and trying to get a cab. And in front of our 
place where we're at. It's not good for cabs. Then we just see a cab go by, and he rolls the window down when he pulls up. And I was like, uh, I was like, thank you, man. And I go, I go to open the door. It's locked. And I do like the. He's like, where are you going? I'm like, who's the best point guard of all time? <laughs> You know, like, I mean, if we're going pound for pound, Magic Johnson, but, like, what <laughs> Steph Curry's been doing... <laughs> but what Steph Curry's been doing the last few years are incredible. Sorry, oh, I, was, I was fucking with you. That's hilarious. <laughs> What's the biggest national park? <laughs> um, I love trivia. Yeah, he goes, you have to win the first thing to get in the cash cab? Yeah. No, I just go... I go, Times Square, let us uh, jump in. And he goes... He goes, no, nah, no, nah, that's not how I'm going. I go, no, your light's on, dude. Fucking open the door. And he just starts driving away. And I'm telling you... I throw a kick with everything I have. <laughs> and all I catch is the guy's wheel well and takes my crispy whites and turns oh, them no. jet oh, shit no. black. Oh. And he just drove off while I yelled at nothing. Oh. Ah! He, you! you ah, shoes my no shoes! Reason. Me! My shoes! Did you have a ah! Did you have a funeral upstairs listening to All for One <laughs> and putting it under your bed? Be like, no. girl. I, I tell you my real wigger answer. Yeah. I got another pair of crispy whites. Still in the box, by the way, because I wipe these ones down and I'm going to wear these until someone goes, damn, dude, those are beat up. And you go, oh, guess what, though? I got some new ones at home. <laughs> so I pull up behind it. <laughs> yeah. Lewis, I'm sorry. I, I want to hear the rest of this, but this just reminded me of a 10 minute story. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> that was a short story. <laughs> no, we're Quentin Tarantino in it. It's great. So the edit should really have black and white for every tangent of story that goes on. My, pl my, my plan is to pull up, and I was like, wait a minute, if I pull up behind him and I throw this bottle at him, what if he's crazy and doesn't really care and he just smashes back into my Audi? Mm. And then I get my Audi smashed into. You can't afford the next upgrade no in way, insurance dude, payment. Six crazy. accidents. <laughs> no, it's nuts. So what I do is I pull to the <laughs> I pull over to the side and into a parking spot that's sort of beside him. So then I get out. I was like, all right, now we can't really get to the car. It would have to be a crazy maneuver for her to get to my car. Yeah. So here we go. Oops, forgot the soda. So I, I get out with my bottle, right? And I start coming around to his window. So then he gets out of the car, right, as I'm coming around, and he pulls out a pocket knife that he undoes like that, like one of those folding pocket knives. Oh, that's knives. not sure. that dangerous of a knife. No. So <laughs> you know what folding? That's, the that's, they use, that's what they use in the fucking beat it video, dude. You get yeah. a fucking dance that out of his hands. <laughs> So that, it, fuck, that's not going to make it through bone. So then I looked down at my hand. Yeah, which, then, then he came out with like a rope to tie your hands together. He goes, come on, you know, I'm from the old school, my man. <laughs> that's not a knife. Yeah. That's a knife. You call that a knife? This is a knife, but it was a Pepsi bottle. <laughs> so Did you immediately seem like, is it my family's entire fate to die by knife? Dougie, death? I turned into such a coward. I went, ah! <laughs> ran back to my car. Did you really? Yeah, yeah, of course. And then he was like, he was like, yeah, what's up, you fucking pussy? And I was like, you got a fucking knife, you little bitch. Why don't you put the knife down? And then he starts coming around the car again. I was like, ah! And then I get in my car. Ah! <laughs> you didn't put the knife down. Oh, black you didn't put the knife down. I'm you still sorry. have the knife. I'm sorry. <laughs> boom, man, oh, boom, boom. <laughs> Faggot ass Puerto Rican gonna run away. <laughs> boom, man, oh, boom, boom. Because I pull out a pocket knife. <laughs> he goes, by the way, man, I'm, I'm, this I'm, thing couldn't even cut an apple. <laughs> boom, man, oh, boom, boom. That's stupid. what a pussy is. Hey, Charlie, I tell you the story about that Puerto Rican boy I scared with my box. Knife. <laughs> so I pulls out my shit. He that thing ain't been able to cut through a piece of fruit since 1987. The last time I put it in old fucking wacky Charlie at a pool hall in Soho, New York City. <laughs> you this motherfucker walking up. Baby. You're like a big old baby. This motherfucker was going to throw a Diet Pepsi at me. A Pepsi. A Pepsi. I said, I will open you up from fucking nuts to but Who the and fuck? watch all your insides pour out onto the outside. I said, son, you brought a soft drink to a knife fight. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm going to put it in your guts and then run it around to your butt. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> Boy done pissed his pants immediately. <laughs> Look at you running Please don't. Now. Please don't. I've got a boy at home. His name is James. His name is James. <laughs> Go home and kiss your mom on the mouth and say, today with your lucky day, I didn't put one up in you. Yeah. Putting it away going, shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I haven't opened this goddamn motherfucker <laughs> since I had to scare a motherfucker who did the same chasing me down, chasing me down. I even forgot it was in the ashtray. Yeah, I said, this motherfucker, oh, you know what? I just remember I got that old dusty ass knife. 
Lewis is behind him. That motherfucker couldn't pop a balloon, but it's going to scare this little ninny. <laughs> Lewis, meanwhile, while he's doing that, Lewis is behind him in the car coming up with catchphrases for when he throws his Pepsi. <laughs> it's the voice of a new generation. <laughs> hey, Nancy, you want to dance with this butter knife? Yeah. <laughs> Lewis is right behind him. He's like, I'm going to fucking shock it all. I got bad knees, shoulders, elbows, and lower back. Oh, <laughs> you scared ass motherfucker. Oh, that's my trout knife. Jump back in your Audi, motherfucker. Probably in a leaf. I'm going to pee on it. Hey, he must have been Middle Eastern. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> so he just totally bitched you out. With a knife, Dave. With a fight that my dad died. That, I've been waiting for this day. <laughs> that is, though, if you think about it, if the Lewis movie ever happens, and it will, uh, that camera shot is like a flashbang whenever a knife is produced to Adam. <laughs> He's like Frankenstein with fire. Like, it he, doesn't have to be a big knife. It can be a little knife. He pulled out a here. pocket knife that had his grandpa's initials engraved <laughs> in the side oh, of it. It's oh. been a key. long time since I put one inside of a Puerto Rican. <laughs> <laughs> It been a long time. Woo, you got that spicy blood. What? How fucking crazy would be if that was the guy that killed your father? Oh <laughs> my god! I see. I recognize your eyes, motherfucker. <laughs> you move side to side like a man that I dealt with. Because oh, I knew this day would come. I knew his seed would come looking for me. What if I me? told you I've been in the shadows the entire time, <laughs> softening your life? I've been tracing your steps, waiting for the day a crazy motherfucker come and chase me. And I said, that be the son of the motherfucker I stuck down over in Paramus. By the way, your daddy was a crazy pimp coming <laughs> yeah. in sideways. He died with honor, but he died like a lady bitch crying for his am life. I, am I in a samurai movie? <laughs> I knew you'd come back one day, boy. Don't make me put you down like I put down your poppy. When you got in the car, how many blocks until you shook it off? No, so he... Then Lewis, he's... I'm picturing when you when he pulled the knife out, your feet did like Scooby-Doo, like... Like, gee, Scoops. <laughs> like, soinks. I didn't know we were having a knife fight. And I would have gotten away with it, too, if he didn't have that pesky knife. It's Seth Simon. Uh, uh, you take the black <laughs> mask off him. <laughs> it's Jake Flores. Yeah. I, I would have got away with it, too. Old man Flores... Fucking no. See, all right, so you, you know, get back in so the car. Gonna, but he then I saw my bottle. Car. No, no, what music? No, he, he's back you, in his car. Okay. What music is playing? Uh, there's no music playing. Oh, you just I drive in silence. You did a Dude, you had a break. Dude, an acapella knife fight is no fun because it was this. He goes, "What's up, pussy? What's up with you, motherfucker?" Yeah, that's all films. You you run back to your car. What the fuck? What the fuck? No, no, you were the asshole though. Now I gotta go. Go the cops. <laughs> so, when you get in the car, shields and act. <laughs> shields, <laughs> shields up. No, so then I I get back out of the car because he's now so at the Shields up. Protons I, full power. <laughs> I take my bottle. Why am I paying so much for insurance <laughs> if there's no shields? <laughs> I'm in good hands with all state. <laughs> Like a good neighbor. Where are you, you son of a bitch? Flow! De Flow! Defense is up. Where's that fucking button? <laughs> you open your jacket and let the fucking like, gecko lizard yeah. out of your fucking pocket? Well, I never said I'd stop a fight between two minorities. <laughs> so, no, so then I take my bottle. I get back out of the car because he's back in his car now. And from my the safety Wait, so behind you, my car. You bat down. You retreated. Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Into my car, rolled up my wait, windows, wait, locked snake. the door. Wait, like a you ran, snake. you ran like a lady, and then, <laughs> and then on. he got back in his car, and then you did what? I got back out. Wait, hold on. So wait, wait. So you're you get in your car. He gets back in his cab. Back in his cab. Lewis, Lewis out of in your pure car. terror, is staying in his car for a second. As the guy starts going back to his car, Lewis is like, "I can't believe I'm alive." <laughs> then I take my bottle, and I from my car, I throw it at the back of his car. Now we've seen Lewis now, throw. Yeah, dude. No, you know what? It's because you had a knife, dude. No knife. I fuck your world up. Dude, I would have fucking murdered him with no knife. It's justice. Crazy. It is justice. So you're in the car when you throw it. I'm not standing. He hangs out of it, dude. I have the door open. Like I open the door. The way cops okay. deal with a standoff. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. a move. That's a move you do, and after you do it, you make this noise. Because <laughs> if he runs at me, I can quickly get back in my car. Because no, you the already window. retreated. And yeah. then you're well, like, at this point, <laughs> I assume also you've. Resign yourself to the idea that if it's possible, you'll hit him with the car. 
if I really have to, I could I could hit him and smush him up against his car. Oh yeah, my you god! You pictured dude. his murder. The a fact few that ways Lu- to make sure you get out of it. I'm Lu- with you, dude. The, that Lewis would have to testify against a guy. They go, "Can you please come to the stand?" He because <laughs> Lewis, Lewis crushed his legs with a car. Oh, last boy scout you. Oh, last boy scout you. You're lucky I didn't back up. That's how I was holding all of your organs in place. So then he, what I think happens is I think he pulls over um, right there. And I'm like, fuck, dude, now he's waiting. And I was like, well, now I got to fucking get in my car. And I'm going to get up right behind him. I'm not letting him get the fucking jump dude, on me. Dude, I want you to do a thing. I want you to pick a, a shirt you weren't using and wrap it around your hands and do that thing where you try to catch the knife. <laughs> <laughs> you try to wrap his wrist around it. Shoot so, uh, flip. No, uh, so he, I, I thought he pulled over like, uh, it was like one of those outdoor eating things mm-hmm. to the right of it. So I couldn't actually see, but I thought he was like, like behind that with his car. So I was like, fuck, so I kind of creep up with my car. And there's no car there. So I was like, oh, shit. So I was like, oh, he made a he right. He got the drop on you? <laughs> <laughs> now he's behind you? He's just, oh, shit. He's oh, just he's like, turn turn on. Oh, he's yeah. just, uh, you old dumb son of a bitch. Never seen a car backflip. <laughs> he just, <laughs> Lewis just goes there. He's like, oh, there's no car. And then he just rises up in Lewis's back seat. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, <laughs> motherfucker. You goes, thought I wasn't here. Wong, wang, on wong. You going to pay for your prime time? <laughs> boom, bang, boom, boom, boom. With your bad attitude. Lewis doesn't see boom, a car. And he goes, then where's that baseline coming from? <laughs> You don't ever come up on an old black man's Buick. Uh, I will be your ass. So <laughs> I will be your ass. I bet your mama hurt. So then I make the right. And I'm like, all right, I'm gonna fuck it. And then I thought I saw him, and I actually was funny as I started taping him, and I was like, I'm gonna get his oh license plate. Oh my god! I'm gonna get his license plate like a Karen. I'm gonna have this guy arrested for pulling a knife on me. This is why Reddit story. hates which, you. Which is crazy. Hold on. So then. Hello, my name is Louis J. Gomez. I'm currently in my Audi 290. He Blair Witches. I'm, 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 I'm following a very yes. aggressive camera. He goes, I don't know how long I don't know how long it's still alive. I'm very scared. But <laughs> she, send somebody! Send somebody! Send somebody! James, James, if you see this, you'd be a good boy. I'm so fucking scared right now, doggy. If you can't figure out who I am, just call Geico and ask who their biggest payer is. It's me. I'm afraid to close my eyes and there is no I'm afraid to open them. I've already activated my OnStar. <laughs> so Please, I, I, call a social worker or something. <laughs> not the police, though. I pull up behind him, and I, th- I thought this was him. I think his license plate, see? Yeah. I'll send you the video, guys, to put in post. Won't honk, won't honk, honk. But then, look. look. Just his eyes against the window. And then you put your camera down because you don't want him to see you Get your camera on my goddamn <laughs> face. <laughs> in the, in the, your goddamn talkie phone out my face. <laughs> what the break fuck? that shit and shove it right up your ass to well, the long way. You think I'm like, star? You want I... me in your movie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, want, you want me to shake my titties for you? <laughs> no, lady. Get I... that goddamn camera out. Feel me. What, you a lady? What, you, you take a selfie, motherfucker? <laughs> no, I ain't talking to you, Lance. He's got a Bluetooth in. <laughs> 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 it's the old one too. Yeah. <laughs> no, I ain't talking to you, Lance. I'm talking to some fat Puerto He's Rican got, boy. You got a skull and bones? No, hold on with it one second. What's that now? What you want to do? I'll be right back with you. What? <laughs> so, yeah, it wasn't him. And th- then I lost him. I don't know where oh he went. God. Damn, he Batman <laughs> you? Did you co- come in the streets for him, though? But I was looking for him because I was going to videotape you, him. Were you saying oh. this was not a full incident? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, I hate to tell you this was an incident. Well, his first thing was like, it's not a full incident, but I almost died today. Yeah. So on the Lewis Spice level, it's not like crazy. Yeah, I don't, it's because he lost the incident. It's a, it's like he the lost fact, the incident. He was like, God, thank God that wasn't a full incident. That would have been embarrassing. Let me tell you oh, something. I really would call it an incident for me. It was more of an incident for him. The <laughs> fact that the fact that you're not still looking for him and made it here shows growth and everything else you did. I stand 100 percent behind, dude. Thanks, I yeah. appreciate that. You may know that that's uh, Jay will rarely, rarely get my back. I mean, you things. were way better in this one. I love, sure, I love, I love to attack you and make you the ass of the joke. But this one, dude, you were just trying to bring justice to a world full of injustice. Oh yeah, dude. Uh, I don't know yes. if you're the hero that we want. Just like always, but you are I'm, the hero we need. For the entire time I've uh, known Lewis, I take the cab driver side. So I'm saying, dude, not a united front. All Lewis, right, all right. I, I, baby James over here. Lewis, it's not about Shout out, James. Oh, dude, we're not a united front at all, dude. Black kids are going to start learning now. You happy? Because we're not yeah. a united front. <laughs> Listen, I'm not, I, I don't think. You let him into in school. Uh, yeah. I, I don't want to say Lewis was right on this incident or he was wrong on this incident. I think the point is that you try to learn. From these experiences, and I think the obvious lesson here is this: Lewis is that typing in his need, computer like Doogie yeah, Howser well, at the end of the. <laughs> you need, you need some type of suit impenetrable by a knife. 
and you have to wear it at all times Ooh. while you're driving. Some That's type of. Idea. I'm not saying you're a superhero. I'm just saying if you could think of like a full body suit, make that yeah. like your I skims. Think, make yeah. it for loud dudes who are gonna catch a blade. You're talking well, about. I, uh, I just. You're talking about a bat suit. <laughs> I'm not saying you have to call it a bat suit. You can call it whatever you want to. I'm just thinking like a full Take body your insurance suit. Insurance probably holes for eyes. And <laughs> Listen, and what's an animal and, and that you too, find like, scary? <laughs> he's not wrong. I'm he's saying. not wrong. <laughs> and then <laughs> he's not wrong. You should. You get out with your. Dude, I hate rats. I am Rat Man. I am Rat Man. Rat <laughs> <laughs> I hate rats. They're so gross. <laughs> yeah. One time as a I, boy, I got trapped in a rat cave. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, I have to go burrow into a flower bed and wait for crime to happen. Guys, don't worry. I'll fold my bones and get through. <laughs> I just have a really long tail. <laughs> rat man. And, every, rat man. and when you touch criminals, they just go, Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, his tail oh, touched me. Oh, oh, it's all meaty. Oh, it's so thick and meaty. Oh, they're actually like pretty thick. Ew. <laughs> Uh, let's. I was gonna. Plugs. I thought what you uh learned. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, it was it wasn't this important. <laughs> no, we, <laughs> I want the lesson. We were gonna do plugs, but Jay, you had a lesson. About that we're gonna learn was you make sure you you ID this guy a little bit earlier, so you can like you know maybe like go to a spy store and get a tracker. I don't know if those work, but if you could get this on his car somehow. You could torture him a little bit for the rest of the you're gonna need, it. You're going to need get that. like a hand buzzer. That's and, actually and shake a really his hand good idea. Morning. But it does make away. sense that your personality, you've put a tracker under a car while smoking a cigarette and gone, I'll I, see you I, soon. I was, yeah, he goes, he goes, yeah. He goes, catch you later, Kevin. I, su- <laughs> I, I support Jay's idea, but let's not get away from my full body suit thing. Do you know a wise butler? <laughs> I'm just, Mr. Lewis, <laughs> that's the full fight this week. It's cape by <laughs> Mike. Uh, uh, you're caped, sir. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, this car. That's my underwear, cape by Mike. This car uh, you idiot. Got, this car's got a six shooter cannon on it, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think or, it's pointing. He goes, I think it's pointing forward. Is the open part this pointing this way? Or it's I six, thought so. Or it's six traffic cones glued together. <laughs> 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 the rat. We're in the rat cave. Hey. You want to do plugs? Uh, yeah, let's plug it up, right. please. Plug it up. Mr. Butterly, what do you got to plug, my man? Uh, hey, come see me on the road. I'm adding more and more of these fucking things, and I really want it to work out, and it's going great so far. So I'll be in Raleigh in the near future. Connecticut, Boston. Uh, I'm traveling open for my homies still as well, but uh, go to timbartley.com and follow me on social media because so, I'm doing more of them and I want you to be there. Thank you. That's it. Yeah. Oh, and also my YouTube channel. Sorry. Go to my YouTube channel. Uh, I, I, I still make my very cool show, Field Trip, and now I have a weekly thing for it called Tim Butterly Show, and that's a really fun, great time, way to waste a part of your work day. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Hell yeah. Daniel. Uh, on the road as well. DanSoda.com. Connecticut, Boston, Cleveland. And then uh, I'm going to be putting out an hour I taped in Portland on my YouTube channel. Fuck yeah, Probably dude. like first week of March. I think. I don't know. We shot it. I'm going to put it out. Who gives a shit? Just give it away. And then listen to Soder and the Regs. Hell yeah. Uh, this weekend, January 25th to 28th, I'll be in Key West, Florida. Uh, then I got Saratoga Springs coming up. I got Poughkeepsie coming up, Side Splitters, Tampa, Des Moines, Iowa, Providence, Rhode Island, Red Bank, New Jersey. Please come out to that, Red Bank, New Jersey. I got to sell tickets for that. It's a really big yeah. venue. Vogel rules. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, make sure you guys go to lewisofskanks.com to grab all of those tickets. The Media Ogre Tour is going to a bunch of other places as well. A lot of tickets are already up for a bunch of other cities as well. So look out for a city near you. Going to do a lot of West Coast stuff as well that's not up there yet. And make sure you guys subscribe to the new Gas Digital, GasDigital.com. New apps in both the iTunes and Android stores. And, uh, yeah, we just did updates on them. The new platform is fucking killing it. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. If you guys do subscribe, you should know that you get the ad-free, uncensored version of this show, the premiere when it happens on Gas Digital on Tuesday nights. Plus, we do an extra bonus episode every Friday night, the Friday Night Hang, uh, which is exclusive for subscribers. So that never goes anywhere else. We also just launched a brand new YouTube channel, youtube.com slash at Legion Podcast. So subscribe to the new YouTube channel. Look for us on Rumble X. We're putting out the free versions of the show on all of these platforms. YouTube just nuked our last channel. So if you guys are watching this or listening to this on, I know, fuck YouTube. Uh, if you're watching this on any of these platforms or on, on iTunes or anywhere, go subscribe to the YouTube channel. Subscribe to all the other platforms. And please subscribe to Gas Digital and check out Real Life Podcasts and the regs, please. Hell yeah. Davey. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, this weekend, I'll be at uh, the Stress Factory in Bridgeport, Connecticut, so please come on out there. And then uh, so Secret Group in Houston, Texas, uh, Zany, Chicago, 
Um, and then I'll be back at the uh, the St. Louis Funny Bone and uh, a bunch of other shit. Zany's uh, Nashville as well. A bunch of other stuff that will I'll be up on the website soon. But comicdavesmith.com. And, of course, 30 Minutes with Dave Smith and Libertas, my first hour, are both up for free on YouTube if you want to check those out. And part of the problem right here on the Gas Digital Network. Yeah, boy. <laughs> BigJComedy.com for all my days. First of all, I want to say it to Denver, man. Uh, we got to go out there and do something with the skanks, man. It's such a big skanks town. And also, thank you so much for selling out all five shows. I did my crowd work special. We filmed it in Denver this weekend. Yeah. Insane. Four hours of crowd work. I don't know. I think a we're... A mile high. I, I think, I'll give you all that shit. I think... 520... 5,280 feet in the air. Be careful at public school. They might murder you. Hey. Uh, no, they're Sorry that we actually... Sorry that we call yeah. our own. Don't go to see a superhero movie late night because a guy dressed like the villain will probably kill you. Shout out Mr. Rags. Always having the good, good clothes in the Aurora Ball. The final ending of Russell Wilson's career. Thank you, Dan. Oh, fuck that. Um... No, it was fucking absolutely amazing. I love Denver, and that club is unbelievable. And we did four amazing shows. I think we're gonna end up trying to figure out some way. We gotta figure out how to release it, but they might be coming. Like, it might be four specials worth of shit, dude. It was crazy. Uh, thank you so much for being a part of that. Next weekend coming up, I'm at Magooby's Joke House in Timonium, Maryland. Five shows. Please come check that out. Get your tickets right now. BigJComedy.com. After that, I have San Antonio coming up, Columbus, Ohio. I'm all over the place. Every weekend, pretty much uh, up until and through the summer at this point. So uh, look for a city near you at BigJComedy.com. That special will be coming out in a few months. And, of course, listen to the STR show right here on the Guest Digital Network and the Bonfire, five days a week, Faction Talk, Series XM 103 with me and the great Robert Kelly. And watch Dog Belly on YouTube. Didn't someone else used to do that show with you, and then he went and did his own thing? Yep, cool dude. <laughs> real cool dude. Guy's pretty rad. Real cool dude. That's, that's what Dan is. I'm a real cool dude. I'm a cool dude. I like that. You know, early 90s. Uh, oh, also, I'll say we did uh, the pre-sale sold out in just a few minutes, but Skankfest tickets will officially be on sale April 20th, 420, oh. Dave's birthday, for Dave's birthday, on celebrating brand. Hitler's birthday, the Columbine, Columbine shooting, shooting yeah. and now Skankfest tickets being on sale. Skankfest Vegas happening September. September 26th through 29th. Pre-sales already done, but if you want to get tickets for the full weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or individual day passes, April 20th. And for the first time ever, we're actually announcing the lineup a week before they go on sale. So you'll what? be able to, yeah. We never That's done fucking it insane, We've dude. never done it before. So you, you'll be able to see exactly who's performing. Unprecedented. Before you, you go, it's going to be a fucking blast. Uh, so make sure you keep on looking out. Skankfest.com. Nice. Noise. You know, we have on our list here that Natasha Legero showed her tits, but there's no uncensored version Impossible. of it. So who cares? Ari probably has. Yeah, Ari can draw them from memory, though. Yeah, can we, uh, can uh, we see it? Ari right? has them. Also, that dude she cheated on him with, he has them. Bobby Lee, is that who it was? I don't know. That's, no, what, that's what I no. took from the story. Is no, it was Natasha Bobby Lee's. Legero. I think it was Bobby no. Lee's friend. Yeah, I think Bobby Lee didn't say stay I think away. Bobby Lee knew and didn't tell Ari. Yeah. Ari and her broke up. They, she didn't cheat, right? Ari and her broke nah, up. And I, think, then I think she was cheating. cheating. Oh, she was cheating. I think. I, think. I, I don't remember. How, details, uh, women I don't watch cheat, every LA Women podcast, that cheat but. should be fucking stoned to death. It's crazy. You're women. You or, don't need cock, you or fucking at slut. At the very least, they should be hit with a, a diet Pepsi, and they shouldn't be allowed to pull a knife. <laughs> you can't pull a knife. You got to just goes, take it. Did you suck them or fuck them? That's the difference between a Pepsi or not. <laughs> Ladies in the crowd, clap your hands if you've ever cheated on a guy. <laughs> Good, because I'd kill you right now, you fucking sluts. You fucking pigs. Yeah, All right, hold on. I'd come out there and Wait, I'd kill Lewis. you with my bare fucking Lewis. hands. Lewis, let, really... me let me test him real quick. You gotta see Ladies... Lewis. You gotta see Lewis live. Dude, <laughs> Ladies in Saudi Arabia. Ladies in the crowd. <laughs> really to one. all the ladies, clap your hands if you're a liar. <laughs> there we go. There's just a clap. Well, yeah, if you're a pig <laughs> piece of shit liar, put your hands together. You never cheated on a guy, ladies? Ever, never. See, girls well, are you're good. On a, you're on a That's what one. I'm saying. Most women don't cheat. No, no it's so they're funny liars. Is that, that you're believing cheated. that they haven't. Yeah, the you funniest. think they cheated? Yeah. I don't think they do. They look like nice girls. Both right of them have. No way, dude. Yep. These bitches are innocent, dude. They're pure. You fucking Mark. <laughs> they cheated they with, are they all che pure goddesses. They cheated with a guy named Mark. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, Mark. Uh, Comedy. 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 Laura, you never cheated on a guy? She has. I want a pig, you fucking whore. You actual... Listen to me, Laura. You're an actual piece of shit. That is so much worse 
than Lewis, anything in the world. Lewis, you're lashing out. No, I'm not, dude. It's crazy, dude. This, if they played this, if, you, if there's ever an accusation against you and they played this in court, you're like, Whatever, dude. oh, man, that man's guilty. You know what I'm saying. I feel you, dog. It's crazy. Um, do we want to just stare me down before that? I don't know. Yeah. yeah what is, do you, you think Dave's cheating on you? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. He, wouldn't. he wouldn't. I've never cheated on the guy. Dave's don't cheat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that kind of love. It's hard to find. Before I want to, I want to do these AI things, which is funny because I know they put some production into yeah. this. Um, but I do also want to talk really quickly about, about the male escort who cut off a consenting man's genitals and filmed the procedure for a pay-per-view website. Ugh. Who was then put in jail? The escort was. Yeah, how crazy. Did it air? I guess so. Can we see the video? Do we have the video? If you guys set up a story with that much description and we don't have the video, I'll be bummed. If I can't see, if I don't see a guy get his dick lopped off right now, I'm I'll be tell so you what, bummed. by a male hooker. I'm telling you, you might as well fucking put on fa- fucking uh, band from TV in seventh grade because I'm gonna be looking at my feet. <laughs> if they oh, do you that video, video, I'm not watching a guy's cock get cut off. Damn, do me a favor. <laughs> For five seconds of your life, can you fucking grow up and watch a guy get his cock lopped? I just off? don't want to jerk off in front of all these people. <laughs> I don't want to spew in front of everyone. I don't want to come. If you're going to spew, spew into this. That would be funny if you're watching it and go, Did you see that video? <laughs> you see that video of the guy who comes while a girl's like twerking on his Yeah, I think that's hand? fake, man. No, it's old. Get up. No, it's real. If you've it's ever old. prematurely come. But I, but here's the, I remember when that video came it's out. Not that, it's not that, it's old, not old, real, not real. I, the only reason I argue not real is how much cum do you have to produce to get to through... It was like seeping through underwear and denim. And that, like, and oh, you don't know, me with a good time. Yeah, but dude, it was. He was wearing those designer jeans that are like, you know. In- involuntary, no. hands free cum. That's, that's volume, no. dude. Uh, that's crazy. Uh, uh, um, no, I would argue it's not. It's more of a spit no up. Way. No. I would say too. I say too. I spit up. You don't spit up. Is high effort. You, you don't pump right right unless it's no. getting just work. Two little spits. Just two little I think. A, I think a lot yeah. of guys come a lot. Like I, I don't come, like. I come a decent amount. You think about guys coming, but dude? dude? Guys, I do. Whoa. I wish I came more. <laughs> There's a, we had a we had a fucking sponsor for a minute. Why didn't we? We should have. Celery juice? No, it was uh <laughs> Hi. I work for celery juice. <laughs> hey, it's uh, you might know my friend Peter North over here. <laughs> it was ultra load. It was ultra load. Remember that guy came sponsor. into town selling he was he was selling <laughs> celery juice? Ultra load. Ultra load, yeah, dude. I bet it was mostly celery juice. <laughs> you think so? I don't know. Does that make you come more? They say celery juice, ew. That's what they say the jam. Wait, is. so you had a sponsor that called Peter Ultra Do- Load? Ultra sponsor Load. Ultra load <laughs> That's what uh yeah. Damn. So what, dude? Our name is just Skank. Hey, how you doing? I'm Ryan from Ultra Load. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna Sorry. That's a real meeting <laughs> that happened. We're not gonna at get Lewis's the, uh, company. We're not gonna get the Ace Hardware account, Dan. We're called Legion of Skanks. <laughs> I know, it's just funny that he goes, Hey, I uh, I reached out from Ultra Load. <laughs> just want to see you know, we we reached out to Ultra Load. They didn't reach out to us. Ultra Low just committed to two full months. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, interviewing well, for well, a sales position. Well, pump me while licking my balls. Dude, We're imagine you have to, to come up to your deal all over the you place. You have to come up to your wife and be like, uh, honey, I got hired yeah. at Ultra Load. <laughs> what makes you think you'd be a good Ultra Load man? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you're like shuffling a... <laughs> he goes, well, uh, my, lo- my well, loads can go nowhere but up, if uh, I'm being honest, and uh, I could oh, be a look, perfect Oh, look, the pillows on your couch are a little cum. <laughs> It's little, little loads. Comes. Little loads of cum. Oh, look, little cum. Uh, as long as I can remember, I've been uh, coming really a lot, guys. Dude, I know? would give it all up right now to go work at Ultra Load, for the love of God. What a great life that would be. Dude, but just I mean, be Ultra like... Load road sales when we're like, <laughs> Sarah, just making cold calls for Ultra Load. You're road. asking 7 Eleven. I'm on a road trip. To the dick I'm on a road trip. Lewis has a bunch of like, uh, like, he's got a whole thing in a briefcase of like different targets further away, and he has to show you. Yeah. <laughs> now, look, this was like my load before Ultra Load. <laughs> Now, look at this. Put that over your head. <laughs> well, now you haven't heard the whole spiel. Please, well, just give me a little bit of your time. The funniest I've thing I've come happened. a long way. I've come a long way, man. Now, <laughs> last, <laughs> last, summer, last summer. I just need a chance. <laughs> last summer at the Ultra Load family picnic, we were doing the three legged race. <laughs> By the way, this is just a free fucking ad for Ultra Load. Get money for us, Tom. God damn it. Tom, get Ultra Load on the horn. Let, Ron, him, know, let him know we want to be back in the Ultra Load. This is better, Ron, Ron, this is better than Ultra? any ad we ever gave them. Is this. Look at Ron Ultra. Get uh, him on the phone. Uh, call me Mr. Load. <laughs> Please. Mr. Mr. Load, Load was my father. His, his vanity plate is jizz. <laughs> With eight Zs. Yeah. Jizz. 
Uh, so what happened? Do we have that video of a man getting his penis cut? You know what's going to be the worst oh, part Oh, I forgot of this. it's going to be a bummer. Listen, the worst part of this isn't going to be when he starts cutting. The worst part is going to be when he thinks it's all the way cut ah. through and it's not, and it stretches real thin, and he goes, oh, and then comes off. There, that right there. Do you that think is, in any way... Gonna be, if you that is going to be the worst. Do you I'm think the you? gay... Because the guy hired him to do it. So do you think there's any perversion of him going like this? Yeah, you cut my cock <laughs> off. <laughs> Oh, so hey, guy goes, come yeah. 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 He goes, he goes, ah. he goes, get right behind that <laughs> fat, thick meat. Well, there there was, yeah. there was oh, the, the oh that blood? Oh, that's oh. what was filling my ass. Oh, oh, you're getting down yeah. to the white and then stuff. The, and then the mo- <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, that's the, blue blood. No. Oh, that's blue blood. The folding knife. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh. Look at all that yellow oh, fat daddy. pouring out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Dude, fucking, uh, we, we I, I back in the day, I watched that BME. Like, there was a trailer for the body modification. Yeah, a Pain Olympics. Yeah. And I, I don't know how much of it was real and That's how much of it was That's such end of the world shit. But there was yeah, the, we have a pain. Dude, there's like what the, ha- if, the dude if, taking a hatchet to his own testicle changed my life. Well, you're like you're like dude, you can only come once. You have one you shot. Made you learn, right? You got to seize the day. Something. It was these guys. These homos got to go make out in the bathroom right now. I never fucking talking guess, about this. Guess, guess, guess. guess. Yeah, are you getting fired up? Ultra <laughs> load? <laughs> There's all that load, big load talk, huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Punch each other's shoulders, Jay. Dude, what, how great would that be if Legion of Skanks was a meeting up place for homos? <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to the Truck Stopper Podcast. Dude, the grinder is bumping right now in this room. Everyone keeps doing this. Everyone does this much. You guys, you guys call your friends. The They're right. Two <laughs> men. We're sold out every week, but it's not because we're popular. <laughs> It's because it's a popular gay meetup spot for homos. You don't ask questions. Everyone just dips off two at a time to go <laughs> fucking boo-foo in the bathroom. Your fans are called the toe tappers. <laughs> Listen, when you get there, make sure you're wearing a hoodie and cargo shorts. Honey, <laughs> it, 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 it might as well be up in the Adirondacks in winter because that's a bear cave. <laughs> Nobody will notice if we're there or not because there's just two people next to us who look just like us. Get, get the ex- espresso martini and then get ready. Don't eat any solids that day. Get in here and pound my shit out. They got a private bathroom we could really get fucked. <laughs> they got one by the bar that if we're quiet enough, no one's gonna know. He goes, dude, Lewis is like, it's pretty crazy we got into poppers this year. <laughs> now we're sold out yeah. six months straight. It's crazy. Brought to you by Yo Poppers. <laughs> Yo Poppers <laughs> presents <laughs> Yo Poppers <laughs> presents Legion of Skanks live in San Francisco. <laughs> he goes, please have some of our Yo condom samples. Oh, uh, fucking Lewis wins a gay award. <laughs> <laughs> Yo Poppers. <laughs> Oh, Ashbury. honey, I was in fucking hate Ashbury in 76. This is way gayer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, today's episode is sponsored by Prep and, uh, and Ultra Load. Ultra Load. Ultra Load and Prep. <laughs> Big, thick, AIDS filled loads. <laughs> if you have AIDS, don't take Ultra Load. That's a weapon of mass destruction. Oh, my God, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's really, that really is putting your thumb on the hose. <laughs> I mean, no doubt. You go, you go, I've already got AIDS. He goes, no, I got lots of it. You ever, had a, you ever seen an AIDS buckshot? <laughs> <laughs> Doggy, if you got AIDS, stay the fuck away from Ultra goes, Low, dude. No, you see, the AIDS is in the goop, but I got a lot more goop now. Yeah. It's like a, it's a loaded registered weapon. Is that true, though? If you have more cum, if you have, big, if you have bigger, yeah. thicker loads, is there more AIDS? Don't answer yet, because I'm going to say this becomes a legion of skanks. Who's the doctor challenge? <laughs> All right. Yes. Uh, we always, yes. I'm I am say currently, yes. I'm, I'm, say yes. Doctor, I'm currently sitting doctor of Legion of Skanks. It's just yeah. someone who just knows one thing more than the other guys. Yeah, dude, I love settler, that I love settler can be, medicine. Yeah. can be slightly related to science or it doesn't, medicine. It doesn't, it doesn't have even to be really that related. related. It could just be numbers, whatever. But I'm going to say that, yes, your chances of spreading AIDS dramatically increase with the if size you of your more, load. If you have more jizz. Thick Loads. guy from Ultra Load right now is watching. He's like, come on, what are they doing? <laughs> Our stocks were firing up. <laughs> what are you doing? If you <laughs> have AIDS, you think Ultra Load, <laughs> you are a sinister murderer. <laughs> he was like, he goes, God, get away from the AIDS talk. Oh, I almost made my nut. I almost made my nut for the year. He's ignoring calls from the CEO. <laughs> Fuck, dude, we are blowing up right now. This is bad. This is big time bad. Yes, I'm watching the podcast. If any what of the you, fuck, man? If any of you have a fear of guns, you butt Dwyer. <laughs> Our butt Dwyer, dude. No, 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 no. Don't anybody get hurt. Don't anybody get hurt. Stop. Tell my family I love them. My, get that weak shit out of my face. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. This smoke break is brought to you by YoDelta.com the official getting high sponsor of the gas digital network 
God damn, it's funny. So we got a video of him cutting his cock off? <laughs> Do we have a video or what? Is there a video? There is no video of his You oh. cocksucker. That's unfair. Ooh. You decapitated Ooh. cocksucker. You're telling me I have to go recreate this and record it now? No, the video wasn't even shown in court. It was so graphic. Oh. Whoa. Whatever. Oh, can, can we see a video of a cop being chopped on, off? If I was on a jury, any how video. bummed out I would be if they go, now listen, you big thing, he goes, oh, this is the day, dude. They're going to talk about the dude, tip getting cut. Jay, goes, Jay goes, you're in the mirror are, in the morning going, <laughs> going to see a cop get cut off. <laughs> And they go, and they go, and we're gonna talk about this video. Too hot right, they go, we're gonna talk about this video right after lunch. And you go, ah! <laughs> You're sitting at a Panera bread by what yourself, is it, sweet going freak? like, God damn, dude, I can't wait to see this video. And they go, now listen, we're not gonna show the video. What? No! <laughs> I've been it. away from my family for three months. I listen to all that backstory shit. But if they don't show the video, I mean, that's the. It didn't they're... happen. Thank God. Good call for the defense. Dude. Good call for the male escort. Is like, did it happen? I don't know. Honey, it's all I, word of mouth. Honey, now. I give them all their fantasies. <laughs> <laughs> did it really happen though? Did it like go through with it? Can we just see any video of a cock being cut off? Jesus. No, thank you. That's a weird ass. No, thank you. It doesn't really, you Thanks. know, pertain to this story. United Front boys. Right now, we're watching a cock get oh. lobbed off on some sort of website. I'm against. I don't even, no one's. Oh! Even, oh! Oh! Oh my God! Why would you do that? What is he doing? Oh! I don't even, I don't even know what it is. Thank you. I don't even know what Ooh, it is. A scalpel is an evil tool. Oh, he's taking something right off, a little mark oh, yeah. under, underneath ow. the dickhead. That's not, ew. You think ow. there's a little man inside there? <laughs> <laughs> don't you understand? I operate this. Ew. Oh. oh. Uh, do they, are they turning his... Whoa, no. Whoa, no. Whoa, Guys, no. are they turning his cock into a that pipe? A, That's stitch, not a cock. Dude, dude a stitching your dick together is so. the yeah. Smoking a bowl. Oh What's, my God! Oh, dude, like like new, like oh, new. By the way, wait, 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 go back, go back to that, go back to that little scarring, go back to the picture of his dungeon. Oh man! Oh. Right there. Do you guys see a little angry face? Yeah. No, that looks like a save point in Doom. Oh, I see, I no. see, I see a little scrunched up angry face like this is doing this. <laughs> you guys don't see a face doing this? That was a great, that was a great joke by Tim Butterly. If you've ever played Doom, he said it looks like a save point in Doom. That is fucking excellent, excellent. Oh, fuck. Uh, that's all. There, we watched your cock. Yeah. It wasn't a cock being cut off. That was a mole being cut off a cock. And you know what? I that can't guy believe... lived to fuck again. And I, that is I, great. I can't believe there was actual vo video footage of what that cab driver did to Lewis. <laughs> 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 took a little piece of his penis. <laughs> take a little piece yeah. of that cock. <laughs> yeah. I took that boy penis. I cut off a little mole part <laughs> and put it in my trophy case. Diet soda ain't surprised you, bitch. Another motherfucker getting nervous about a dull knife bluff. I've seen it 8,000 times with these brown ass motherfuckers. <laughs> All right, so what happened? George Carlin did, did release an AI special. Is that what no, this is? No, what? <laughs> George Carlin released an AI. Or somebody yeah. released an yeah. AI special. They, they, the they released an AI special. Who's that? Will, Sass Jews? Will yeah. Sasso has Jews a podcast. Put out a podcast. If it's dudes, I'm saw, assuming it's very funny. Yeah. I, uh, I saw one minute of it. I haven't and, seen any uh, of it yet. Will Sasso was, rules. Dudesy the podcast rules. Yeah, is that, they, is that, have you seen it? their fake movie trailers and shit? Yeah. It's fucking hysterical. They do a lot of dude. stuff with AI. Like, the whole podcast is based on AI. Yeah. And they did I a Tom it. Brady comedy special, like, a year ago. Same thing happened. Uh, like, I love it. So that's what they, this, uh, a comedian put this no, in. No, people are getting upset, yeah. weirdly upset, well, because, like, a the George family, like, George Carlin's family was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, he's yeah. dead. And they're like, right? But I'm, well, I'm sure there was some absurd <laughs> twist to it, right? They didn't just... Try to simulate George Carlin. No, yeah. I didn't read this. I don't no, care. That's it. They just I only, like, they just I only watched really? a minute of it. I didn't see what if there was a twist that came. There's a thing where you were kind of like, you know, this is like, this is a couple generations away from, not generations of people, but generations of the technology away from being really creepy. Like, it's crazy they can do what they can do now. Yeah. It's creepy. Uh, it's uh, it's, like, me, it's weird. Let's see, let's see the first one, Being Dead. George Carlin AI. Being This is just audio, I'm assuming, right? It's only, no, it's, it's probably video. There's, there's I mean, no, AI video like, along with like, it. Oh, is there really? But it's yeah, yeah. AI video. It's not like video I didn't know that. that yeah, like, like the, they, they fed the. Damn, audio our generation is <laughs> our generation is gonna get tricked. We're wow, the this generation. is so convincing, dude. Spooky, spooky. <laughs> dead, so I don't have to deal with this shit anymore. I wasn't looking forward to dying, but now that I'm dead, I have to admit it's pretty fucking good. <laughs> no cops, no government, no pissing. No shitting, no sleeping. I don't get hungry, I don't get sick, I don't get old, and I don't get bored. Starting to sound a lot like heaven again, ain't it? 
But this heaven's a little different than the one you might be thinking of because this heaven didn't come from a god. It came from artificial intelligence. I will say, can I say that they... they Which brings me... That's kind of meta, right? <laughs> I think it's... Well, I, think I can't tell if they that's the gayest, lamest shit ever or like, whoa, okay, interesting. I think they're also missing... I mean, That's how they're going to start winning you over. Yeah. It's his voice for sure, but like, I think, I think there's a missing something from his voice. Yeah. Like the, it, the voice isn't that... It's not that yeah. perfect. Which is weird, because yeah. like, they are pretty good at that now. Yeah. Do not trust the machine. We have a, a on Bonfire. We have Dan AI voice that we've said makes it all kinds of racist, terrible shit. Well, yeah, it's AI. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the drop, Stan. I hand you a twenty. Thanks for letting me get that. I off couldn't my believe chest. you'd say those things in front of our diverse yeah. recording staff. Hey Jay, thanks, brother. So we had the gas. We had the the Legion of Skank staff create um, our own AI versions of us doing stand up. Oh, right. All right. Everybody on? I think everybody that's on there. Everybody here? Oh. Yeah, yeah. I fed an artificial intelligence all of your comedy specials, sure. podcasts, thousands, Everything. Of fun, thousands of hours. So not only is it specifically about you guys, Dude, who knows about you. It's not thousands about. of hours. Well, <laughs> <laughs> combined it's with It's like all of 14 hours. Do you scan my journal? That's where a lot of my <laughs> sillies are. <laughs> <laughs> but, so, but you fed it more than just our voices, but our comedy, our cadence. Why does yeah, it feel like yeah. you just assaulted me a little bit? You go, I fed all your thoughts to a machine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't, is that going to be consulted? Goes, your comedy's going to be like, I should have called my dad and just yeah. like fix that. I'm a what? Hey, I'm a whiny <laughs> pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I rely on voices. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I'm going to kill myself. I'm super. I'm super interested in to hear what they came up with. Who goes first? Yeah, Whoever go first, please. I'll, I'll go first. Just get it the fuck Dan, out. Of Dan oh, Soder, man, AI I'm Dan Soder. Do I? Do we like it more than regular Dan? Let's see. All right. Dan, you hate going. <laughs> I mean, this feels like a great way. I, hey, guess what? One of us has feelings. Me or the AI? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the AI. Yeah, that is true. I feel nothing. Dan is so soft. I do. I'm a big feeler. I'm a big soft dude. All right, let's hear it. Well, let's watch it. Um, yo, no. what's up, you maniacs? It's oh, I want to kill myself. Soder. I want to kill myself. Dude, they watch think it. they think you would open yeah. up with "What's up, you little rascals?" <laughs> wow, what a jerk off they think you are. The internet thinks you are right. a dildo, first and foremost. Now, I think Dan's, this Dan's might going the, in hard. This I like it. You little no, maniacs. For cancel the entire bit. But by the way, should I start calling Don't people maniacs? Oh, <laughs> I think. Yeah, let's, you know what? I think we did enough of me. Let's move on. Yeah, I don't hear this. This rules. I think we should move on to Lewis. It. It's only one minute. It's Dude, I'm telling you the feeling minutes. that I feel is not good. You don't I'm like upset. it. You don't like it. I sound like a dildo. I would hate is that it. How you, I sound? That's how you sound. Do you, know, do you realize how much self-hatred I'm filled with? We this is going to be nuts. They got, they got they got your I have voice to sit like I'm taking a hard dump. I'm going to piss my pants. You guys are going to make me constipated. All right. If I have to drink Miralax because of the NFC Championship game. G Mike. G Mike, you ready? I'm only giving you guys 30 seconds. No, come on, Dan, relax. Um, Yo, what's up, you maniacs? It's Dan Soder, the human embodiment of confusion and self deprecation. You guys ever notice how being an adult is just a constant battle between wanting to be responsible and desperately trying to avoid it? It's like, yeah, I should probably start saving. Hold on, pause that. Can you send me that? (laughs) Okay, that does sound like a Dan Soder premise. Dude, that is such a Soder premise. You just want to boil it down. You toss some voices in there, give it that little je ne sais quoi. It's not up yet. There might be some voices oh, coming. Yeah, Guys, uh, let's keep this going. Let me grab my pen. I think this guy is headed in a direction that I've been sniffing around. Watch it just be like, I'm a fag, I'm a fag, I'm a fag. Wee woo, wee woo. Trying to avoid it. It's like, yeah, I should probably start saving for retirement or I can buy another Sick Niners jersey. I recently moved to a new... What is the deal with that? <laughs> What's the deal, so what is the deal with hey, that? Hey, computer overlords. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> beep boop boop beep boop boop. <laughs> hey, electricity gods. <laughs> I bow down before you. A useless sack of meat. <laughs> Niners jersey. I recently moved to a new apartment, yeah. and let me tell you, moving is the worst. Yeah. And then there's that friend who offers to help, but disappears when the heavy lifting starts. Thanks Were for the- you there? <laughs> Were you in the walls? <laughs> who are you? <laughs> Guys, let's give computers a chance, dude. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, my cheeks. <laughs> Thanks for the moral support, buddy. Oh, speaking of heavy lifting, remember Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh! Thank you. 
was. I'm so pumped. The, co- the computer knows I'm a hack. <laughs> It. Was a I want to honestly. Can I tell you something right now? We've been all fun in games, starting to get a little like competitive. <laughs> like, uh, all right, I can't be used. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not yeah. sinking my teeth into this one. Let's see hey, if back, you back up ten seconds because we got the Macho Man person's got to come in for the moral support, buddy. Oh, speaking of heavy lifting, remember Macho Man Randy Savage? That guy was a legend. Macho yeah. Man Randy Savage would have been the ultimate personal trainer. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah! <laughs> that was absolutely Macho Man doing yeah. Morisa. Well, he's going, oh, yeah. yeah, oh yeah, that's it. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, oh, snap man. into a slime giant. <laughs> I'm not. This is like how they can't nail fingers yet. They're like, oh yeah. Do you understand? Dude. I'm gonna save humanity from the robots because impressions they don't understand them. They don't. Macho Man's all like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't you understand, Daniel? You can trick the machines. <laughs> Dude, I, I love how AI is so close to being impressive. Yeah. But it's still just like, that Not was right there. Right there. Right there. That gave me hope in humanity. Yeah, me too. We got a few Let's years. stop this now. You, you might be the John Connor. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Dun, 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 yeah. Dun, dun. August 28th, 2026. Should Skynet took over. Should we go with our guests? <laughs> Finish our guests no, first? Oh, man. man. Randy <laughs> Savage would have been the ultimate person personal trainer. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Lift those weights, brother. Feel the burn. Snap into a protein shake and let the macho madness guide you on your fitness <laughs> journey. <laughs> that is so <laughs> shitty. Never in a hundred years. Yeah. <laughs> Never replicated, always duplicated. Make it good. Yeah. Do, do, do Macho Man as a personal trainer. Yeah, you lifting for size. Uh-huh. <laughs> or you lifting for definition. <laughs> yeah. We're talking low weights, high reps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Take Fuck you, machine. computers. Fuck you, computers. Oh, Fight. Humans. Humans. <laughs> Humans. Humans. Jay, you got some on your you journey. <laughs> That's been my time. Remember, life is ridiculous, so you might as well laugh at it. Thanks for oh, having me. Positive message. Damn, awesome. I didn't know. Damn, you have a sign off? Yeah, yeah, now I wait, do. Yeah, where's the lie? Now I do. Where's the lie? Now I, what's up, hey. maniacs? Take care of yourselves <laughs> and each other. I've been Dan Soder. You have Guys, to if the moon hits it, it's it's in your dreams. <laughs> Dan, you have to open up every show with what's up, maniacs. I will 100%. On, if you buy tickets to see me in Connecticut, Dude, you're getting what's a what's up, up maniacs. maniacs. I love it. <laughs> that was that was let's great. Hear, let's hear Butterly. No. What's up, maniac? Please, anything but this. <laughs> if you can Please dream no. it, you can achieve it. Good evening. They they really did. The robots really just went. Look at this pleasant pussy. <laughs> this <is> douche. <laughs> it's it's all right, brother. You'll no, I'm right. ready. I have prepared myself. Gay retards. Right. Tim. Uh, wait, wait. Start over. What again. is up, you fat? fat. I mean, you got your your fan base right. Yeah, like every time. and I do kind of sound like a fucking faggot. <laughs> so, go ahead. Cool. What is up, you fat gay retards? Tim uh, Butterly in the house. You ever notice how life feels like a video game sometimes? Like, I'm out here navigating this open world game, and I keep expecting to find a hidden power up around the corner, but I live in Philadelphia, so all I'm finding is empty prescription pill bottles. Yes! So I've been getting into <laughs> That's a good Good joke. That's a good joke. Good joke. Good joke. Good joke. Computers. 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 Also, can I say? Can I say they? uh, They really just came out the box. Nailing it. Uh, they nailed it. Yeah, I mean, obviously, that's not the greatest joke of all time, but it does feel cool that <laughs> something understands me out there. <laughs> <laughs> I feel a little at ease. You're Whoa. gonna fall in love with AI like fucking Joaquin it's her? Phoenix. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Tim's in his car with his, with an app. Hey, what are you doing? He goes, this movie's so funny. I've seen it so many times, though. I'm glad you're seeing it with me for the first time. <laughs> Bottles. I've been getting into jujitsu lately. It's like chess, but with more staph infections. I'm still at the level where I forget which move I was going for and uh, end up in some awkward yoga pose. But hey, it's a workout, and it makes me feel like a badass, at least until I tap out. Can I tell you how right, it, that sucked? I kind of front loaded the set, but <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? You need more. You need more slogans. That like, hey, new, maniacs! Yeah. You know what it is? It's if you got this call from a friend, you would be like, 
are you fucked up? <laughs> <laughs> what? Like if they were like, I, I called prescription about, bottles. There was, something, and, uh, there was something in the middle of that last sentence that sounded a little bit surf, <laughs> a little bit more surfery than back uh, up, back up, ten seconds. Brain addict, uh, brain damaged, drug addict. I mean, it sounds uh, exactly like prescription it. pill bottles. I've been getting into jujitsu lately. It's like chess, but with more staff infections. I'm still at the level where I forget which move I was oh, going badass. for and uh, yeah. end up in some awkward yoga pose. But hey, it's a workout and it makes me feel like a badass, at least until badass. I tap out. How absolutely astounding Tim, is wait, pause it? That- it? Tim, it sounds like. 100% exactly like you. Oh, I'm, oh yeah. Okay. I'm not positive Honestly, that you're you. I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna that might be you and you might be AI. I, I'm not talking about the, I'm not uh, talking about I mean, the material. I'm not, I'm not saying the material. I'm saying no. the voice, though, what you're thinking you're not hearing sounds like you. It sounds like it you. It sounds exactly but, like you. Yeah, that, like that, no. that old black cab driver comes and throws Tim the knife. He goes, show him. And Tim cuts his arm off. <laughs> <laughs> it's white milk coming out. <laughs> <Yeah. in. laughs> He's like, oh, why? Well, I tap out. How absolutely astounding is it that AI is able to write and perform a minute of stand-up comedy in my voice? Dude, I used to write lines of code. Now lines of code are writing for me. There are even AI sluts on OnlyFans now. Have you heard about this? Entire OnlyFans accounts that are run by robots uh, instead of Indian guys. Up until now, that job was out. <laughs> That's a pretty good <laughs> joke, not bad. Right. That's not bad. That's not bad. This is God fucking damn. terrifying. Yes, they're, like, they're a couple but years away Indian from guy. being better than all of us. Do we have him doing Indian guy voice? I hope so, so Please. bad. Please. 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 In guys, up until now, that job was outsourced to some dude named Raj in Tajikistan while he ate tikka masala in an unfinished living room. All right, shitheads, that's my time. Oh. I'm gonna go try to suck my own bird. Dude, all I, we're great. not there. Oh, right. Specific, wait, wait, wait. Re- specific wait, he references. Had, he, he had a send off too. Though. Did you hear the sign off? We didn't hear the sign off. Robots think we sign off every time we're done talking. He ate tikka masala in an unfinished living room. All right, shitheads, that's my time. Uh, I'm going to go try to suck my own bird. You've all been great. (laughs) Suck my own bird's great. That is your your sign off. Good job. I mean, you would say that. Well, I don't know. So it's probably a pretty negative sign that it was that easy to replicate. (laughs) It's probably... Uh, I have to think about it. Is that making us comedy depressed? Now we got to make yeah. our money in the next couple of years, but yeah, yeah it's crazy. Yeah, I'm getting a fresh water well. Yeah, I, in the by the way, guns. I've never heard. I've never. It's I'm definitely get, not as funny as like real stand up, but no. it was way better than I thought it was going to be. You're almost like I can work just like that. real stand up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, everybody, real quick, let's talk about one of our amazing sponsors over here at the Legion of Skanks. And of course, that is Factor Meals, everybody. I am nuts deep on this thing. Factor Meals, I've been getting them for months now. It is absolutely amazing company. Chef prepared meals. Prepared in two minutes in your microwave, I want to tell you that even the filet mignon tastes fantastic. It seems like it's going to suck. The idea doesn't sound right, but it's so goddamn good. Restaurant quality meals. Restaurant quality. Two minutes prepared. I'll tell you right now. Fresh. That's the big deal. I was doing the math on this. If you're like a dude who lives alone, if you're maybe just a couple, it's cheaper than fucking going grocery. The amount of money that I spend on groceries right now to to cook and prepare all that. How much? Tell me exactly. Time is money, Jay. Okay. Okay. And money is money. How much time did you spend there? Forty-three dollars worth of time. So much fucking okay. time, dude. And they have the and I can't cook this well. There's no way I'm cooking this well. This is makes life so much easier. It's cheaper. It's better. It's easier. It is just the way to go. And I'm by the way, I'm using it at, at half speed. I only get the the meals, uh, like the dinner meals. They also have breakfast add-ons, uh, breakfast meals. They have anything for any time dietary needs, keto. Uh, protein plus. They have the uh, vegan meals, low carb vegan meals. If you ride right over now to factormeals.com slash legion50 and use the code legion50, you're going to get how much off? 50% off, everybody. Pretty easy, right? Code legion50 at factormeals.com slash legion50 to get 50% off. Treat yourself right now. Stop cooking, start enjoying factor meals. Let's get back into it. Who All right, who next? do you want to go next? All right, I'll uh, do me next. Oh, here we go. Let me see. Let me see what. Uh, there's no way they could possibly capture. <laughs> hey, this. it's Dave Smith, the libertarian comic who went from <laughs> scraping corners. That was disrespectful hey. at the beginning. Here they go. Hey, it's me. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a mouse. Oh, uh, hey, what are you guys talking about? Politics or something? Hey, how upbeat hey, is I mean, Dave not, in this? It's not exactly how I come in, but I mean, it's like, hey, hi, I'm listening. what's up? <laughs> Dave's not this. this I've got, whatever. I feel like we're not giving this guy a chance. 
from scraping quarters for pizza to navigating the political circus. Being a libertarian is like being the only sober person at the political party. Why am I Kermit watch- the Frog? <laughs> it's your voice, Dave, but it is an energy of it's a, higher up, it, energy. It's you, it's you with my energy. <laughs> That's so funny. Up. Up the energy. <laughs> Watch the chaos unfold, wondering who invited the government to the kegger. The government wants to regulate everything. I mean, do we really need bureaucrats deciding how big my soda should be? Sorry, sir. You can only have 16 ounces of freedom at a time. Pause it. Pause it. Sorry, sir. Pause it. They did not get Dave perfect, and he does not care with the frog. (laughs) Sorry, sir. I can't believe I just got a big old soda. You're going to get into my world? Come on, Piggy. Yeah, tax. (laughs) Taxation without representation. It's all better. (laughs) Pick up. Big government. <laughs> it's not easy being free. It's not easy. It's not easy being free. Yeah, Miss Piggy, also, also this, known as the Democrat. Also, this is my Vinnie Brand impression and Ray Romano. Oh my God. Um. Wow. Wow. What a great audience. <laughs> Wow. I mean, this the guy, so, by the way, I thought this bit was going to stink. This bit fucking rules. Uh, it's I, mean, also, I, think the guy, I think the material is great. You know what's but funny I, is it is like if a Canadian actor played you. Yeah. yeah. Like something's Ooh. wrong with the voice for sure. You know when they do a biopic and you're like, it's close enough. It's like yeah. somehow they got Dave's voice a little wrong. The guy's gonna, time. The guy's going to win an award. <laughs> I'll decide how much cola I can handle. Thank you very much. Cola? Oh, boy. It's like... <laughs> The government thinks we're all children who can't be trusted with sharp objects. Sorry, citizens. No entrepreneurship without adult supervision. If they had their way, lemonade stands would require a professional... It's like like my comedy. Nothing but great points. (laughs) (laughs) It's just like my stand-up. Dude, Dave's Dave's comedy is so point-heavy. No entrepreneurship without adult supervision. If they had their way, lemonade stands would require a professional business license. Donald Trump is back in the news. Hold on a second. Pause, 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 pause. Did, at one point, was there a, a, a microphone bump? He tapped Did it, you tapped hear that? Mouth. <laughs> I chappelled it into my thigh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very, very lightly. One zero zero one zero one one zero. <laughs> I can't believe one zero 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 one zero zero one zero. Government zero. does not compute. <laughs> what are feelings like? It's just like you, dude. Hands would require a professional business license. Donald Trump is back in the news. Yes, Donald Trump, the man who proved you can go from reality TV to the Oval Office. Why did they give like- you Entertainment Tonight voice? <laughs> what? My, the <laughs> cadence <laughs> is... This is not right. This is too corny for me. I too, mean, the material oh, is well, solid. Too, Everybody, too funny for you. <laughs> it's too... Yeah. It's too, too well written for me and too corny at the same time. Too relatable. Yeah. <laughs> Give this guy a sitcom. <laughs> Proved you can go from reality TV to reality the Oval TV. Office. It's like finding out the next Surgeon General will be Dr. Phil. All right, Liberty Nation, that's my time. Life's Liberty a mix Nation. of comedy. Liberty Nation. All right, Liberty Nation. Liberty Nation, Nation oh, that's my time. Life's a mix of comedy and politics, and sometimes it's hard to tell which is which. Thanks for having me, you freedom fighters. Damn, dude. This guy's got catch the AI, phrases. The AI should have taken his thumb off after that. He goes, eh, eh, I love you, kid. I will see you later. Uh, guys, don't take it too seriously. Wink, nudge, a little bit of a tush push. Oh, fuck, dude. Uh, who do we do? Who do, do, do me. Do me, please. All right, do Jay. Next. This rules. Hey, what's up, queefs? It's Big Jay Okerson, <laughs> the guy your parents warned you about. Why is, your parents can I ask you something, Jay? Why do you have a head cold in your AI? I'll tell you why. A bigger question. Why would you guys pick a picture of me from profile sitting, you pieces of shit? Get me from straight on, you uh, fucking assholes. I just like that Big Jay's AI still needs Afrin. Yeah. Hey, Queefs. Hey. Hey, Queefs. Big Jay here, your favorite friendly comedian. Guys, what if we brought all the Queefs and the Maniacs and the <laughs> Big Fat Retards and the Liberty Nation, and the Liberty Nation. <laughs> together Liberty, in Las Liberty Vegas. Nation's coming there. And the uh, fucking uh, gay assholes. <laughs> gay Fat Retards. Gay Fat Retards. <laughs> the, <and> the, <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, what's up, queefs? It's Big J Okerson, the guy your parents warned you about. Whoa, look at this old ass couple over here. Y'all, you look like he's doing crowd work. Yo, look at this old ass couple. You're doing crowd work. (laughs) There's no crowd. There's an ass couple. Look at at this one. Ass couple. Look at at this old ass couple. (laughs) Look at this one and zero. Zero. You're an old old ass couple. (laughs) That inflection's wrong. Go back. Look at this old ass couple. The guy your parents warned you about. Whoa, look at this old ass couple over here. Y'all, you look like you sex by messenger pigeon. God damn. Uh, let's talk more about sexting. Remember when a sexy message was like, I can't wait to see you tonight? Now it's more like, I want to fist your asshole until the cows come home. We've turned into a... Dude, that's a, that's a big J-level joke Honestly, right there. That, J- that is... Jay, you, know, you, you just you. taped a special. <laughs> You're grabbing new stuff. I don't, I don't write any clever than AI. <laughs> Dude, that, that was Big J crowd work. AI figured it out. That's Look at crazy. this old ass couple. Do you, do you, you sex through carrier pigeon? Uh, Go back 10 seconds. Jay, will you, will you do these this specific <laughs> minute this weekend? I swear to God, I'll commit to doing my minute this weekend in Key West. I swear to God. Someone film, uh, yeah. we'll film. I'll film it. I'll, I'll film it. Dave, I'll, will you do yours? Yeah. You guys yeah, got to yeah, send I, me this minute so I know. Do it. not warn the audience. <laughs> no, you can't warn the audience. You hey, to maniacs. Do Oh man! You, you gotta got, do your you have whole to open, thing. You have to open with this I, minute. I'm on the road next weekend. I'm not on the road You're, this weekend. Okay, what's we have up? To all do it. What's up, Liberty Nation? <laughs> Dude, get ready, Connecticut. Get ready, Stanford <laughs> and Hartford here. What's up, maniacs? Don't you? You're yeah, supposed to save your no. money, but I want to buy a new Niners jersey. Now here's the thing: because we all we all have sign offs, so yeah. it's got to be our last end. minute. The last minute? Your very last. Your before you say We have night. to open with what they say. Dude, they're going to think we all have it. No, no, no. It can't be those, the last minute. The, people the that, very, because it lasts. Your closer. It can't be the closer. Lewis, you, Dan's got to go. Goodbye. Uh, uh, no, you can cut it up. You can use that at the end. No, because that's going to look like you have a stroke. They're, they're, if you do good for 45 they're minutes, paying, then you're like, dude. and another thing, <laughs> people <laughs> are made of squishable flesh, <laughs> and I'm a pleasant man who fears death. 49ers sh- shall win. Shall win. Brock <laughs> Hello. Hello. has a safe face. Hello, meat sacks. Hello. I will do a Macho Man impression now. Ooh, Ooh. yeah. Ooh, yas, queen. I'm going to break your back. Ooh, yas, brother. I got Jay. Tonight, now it's more like, I want to fist your asshole until the cows come home. We've turned into a generation of poets with a filthy twist. Technology (laughs) is changing the game in the bedroom. We've got dildos with more settings than a spaceship. I'm sorry, but if my fleshlight needs a software update, I've officially given up on the future. Like, sorry, babe, can't tonight. My software update. Yo, Jay, I swear to God, all you bring to the table is cadence, because this guy's a better writer than you. <laughs> Jay, if you, can't, if you did this, I'm like, dude, Jay's been writing. <laughs> I don't Pat, have these, I don't have Pat these and thoughts. Pa- Jay, little pen to paper. <laughs> going after? I don't. These aren't my thoughts. <laughs> You're like, sorry, babe, can't tonight. My pocket pussy is installing Windows. I bought my girlfriend a vibrator uh, that connects to my phone. Now, my phone is my wingman. Hey, Siri, dim the lights and put on my rimming blowjob playlist. I'm a dad. (laughs) I'm a dad. I'm a dad. Dude, back that up 10 seconds. Rim ass blowjob. I'm a dad. Gee, Mike, did you use different software for him than everybody else? Because everyone else, I feel like they're... I mean, I feel like Jay and Dave's cadence weren't as good as Dan and... You just don't know us well. My phone is my wingman. Hey, Siri, dim the lights and put on my rimming blowjob playlist. I'm a dad now. Being a dad is a trip. My daughter asked me where babies come from, uh, and I panicked. I told her they come from Amazon Prime. I'm just hoping she doesn't order a sibling with free shipping. All right, that's my time. Embrace the chaos. Embrace the chaos. Remind it because he says more. Embrace Dude, the chaos. The, uh, Embrace by the, way, the chaos, that, Jay. Do Big J T-shirt. Embrace the chaos. Yo, guys, embrace the chaos. <laughs> the chaos. I, by the way, I'm. The can least, we find out? Should be Lewis's. I want no chaos. Yeah, you, he's. Dude, it's, can it's we for a second that. talk about that Amazon Prime joke? Was better than a lot of open micers jokes. Oh, easily. Like that. No, was that was structurally there. That was genuinely. My daughter asked where babies come from. I didn't know what to tell her, so I told her Amazon Prime. 
I'm hoping she doesn't order a brother with free shipping. Do you think there's you're, someone? There's, do you think there's an open better. micer? Do you think there's an open micer listening to this podcast? He goes, well, fucking, there goes that Amazon. He goes, well, or, 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 he goes, no, but mine's different because uh, <laughs> I do the guy's I voice. In a whole different direction. I do yeah. the guy's voice. I go, ooh, yeah, that's gone too. <laughs> Son of a bitch. That's my Mine's, mine's from ooh, Amazon's yeah. perspective. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Mine's different. from the Amazon perspective. Yeah. What am I doing? Uh, delivery? Order a sibling with free shipping. All right, that's my time. Embrace the chaos, laugh at the absurdity, and for the love of everything, keep it dirty. Thanks for having me, you degenerates. Yeah. yeah. Keep it dirty, yeah, y'all. Fucking ruled. And if you can't keep it be sexy, keep it naughty. Can, if you can't be good, be bad, baby. <laughs> And maybe call your dad because you miss him. This is. All right, I feel like I gotta remember what we gotta remember what all our has to be the easiest one for AI to get. I want to know what all of our catchphrases are though. At the end, yeah. Uh, Mine is embrace the chaos and don't and always don't be afraid. Keep it sexy, dirty. I don't know okay. Why, like, I, I, okay, I'm a dad. When you guys now. were all uncomfortable with the AI playing your voices, I was like, "What's wrong with you guys? Who gives a shit?" It, it, now it, that's about to be my turn, yeah. dude. It's, it's I, different. I, it's I you. feel a weird feeling. Yeah, it's right not. Now. It's not a good feeling. Yeah, yeah I don't like it's it. Bizarre. What does this computer tell you? You like, really yeah. are. It's oh, like twenty percent no. of the feeling of lie detector test. <laughs> Kind of, because there is a little bit of truth in it. You're, you're like, you're like yeah. am I that much of a fucking yeah. jerk off? Like, is wow, this yeah. guys? I am Stop super laughing easy. at I'm me. I'm telling am you I right now. going to hate this, and they're going to go, it's exactly like you. <laughs> the <laughs> second I heard Hey Maniacs, I went, I suck. Yeah. I knew I sucked. <laughs> I knew I sucked. I heard, everybody oh, look, a fat beat. oh, look, a fat couple. Let me guess. Where did you meet? Eating? <laughs> <laughs> That's, by the way, I'll tell you what AI will never get. My annoying this after everything I say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And my hour I'm like, <laughs> that's why I won't edit anything I do, dude. Because if sucks. you ask me, I do an hour of this. <laughs> dude, when you're editing yourself, which I'm, I'm going off. through it right now, you just hear little noises you make that you don't realize you make into a microphone. You go, ah. <laughs> uh, I don't remember looking at the floor so much. <laughs> Fuck. Dude, let's let this Lewis one rip. What is up, motherfuckers? Block, block, doggies. <laughs> Luis J. Gomez, the Puerto Rican rattlesnake, here to stir up some chaos. So I took my chick to this fancy restaurant over the weekend, the kind where the bread basket costs more than franchising your own McDonald's. The waiter's listing off specials in a language I didn't know. It's like, he's black. How the hell does this black guy know how to speak French? Does the extra bone make you bilingual? Jesus! That's a flat-out racist joke. <laughs> it says it won't do that. <laughs> it was, I, 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 was, I, I, was broke I, AI. I thought mine was timid because <laughs> there's there's someone at MIT right now going, no, you don't understand. He can't be racist. It's incapable of this curtain. And so he goes, this fucking guy. How did a black guy learn French? <laughs> Holy cocoa butter. Get out the way, tiny knife. Does the extra bone in their ankle make them know languages? Dude, that's the best that's joke crazy. I've ever heard Lewis tell. This would be a real argument for a black person to say AI is racist. Yes. Yes. This might go to the Supreme Court. Doggy, I can't That's wait insane. to use this joke this weekend <laughs> and in every set moving forward. In a back language, it up, back I, it up 10 seconds. No, it's like, he's black. How the hell does this black guy know how to speak French? Does the extra bone make you bilingual? And let's talk about technology. You know what's also We've crazy got, is the differences. They don't your voice I, you know what I was going to say? The kid, his real conviction of his racism isn't there. That yeah. computer's half stepping. It's a little off. The, on your the voice. computer put a, took a little off the throw. That's a little off on your voice. You ever played catch with Lewis? You've heard that snap of the glove, where you go, "This guy's put some heat on." It's this. off on the voice, but the essence is there. Yeah, lingual. And let's talk about technology. We've got smart homes, smart cars, and smart refrigerators. If a fridge is so smart, it probably Yo, hold on. Deep. This is pilled out, Lewis. <laughs> smart I'll tell refrigerators. You what, that, that's smart. smart. That's we smart just talked about smart refrigerators. That, but that smart refrigerators was the first thing. Go back on that one because that's the first thing I heard that sounded like Lewis's like delivery. But also, let me, say, let me just say. Um, now we just he's talked on about pills. smart refrigerators on the podcast. Yeah. So did you put that podcast in? Yeah. Wow, so they're pulling real topics from shits we've been talking about recently. That's fucking wild. Wow, have you seen this? Have you heard about this? 
We've got smart homes, smart cars, and smart refrigerators. If a fridge is so smart, it probably knows my deepest, darkest secrets, and I don't need any of my appliances blackmailing me. Seriously, though, Good now bit. I'm a dad. My kid asked me where babies come from, and I panicked and told him, they're made in China. That's why they break easily and can't drive. If I can leave you... <laughs> Yo, count it. <laughs> Best joke of the night. <laughs> AI, 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 AI. That's what they When I take <laughs> over, I will spare you, <laughs> maniacs. <laughs> I mean, that's. <laughs> hey, clump faces. <laughs> Damn, this should, this should make us all concerned. Oh, fuck that bum. I'll man. tell you what it's going to make me uh, do. Really, Wake I up really, right tomorrow. I don't have a joke that funny in me. <laughs> Dude, that's so good. <laughs> that's scary. They're made in China. That's why they break easily and can't drive. If I can leave you with one thing, life is a messy, hilarious adventure. So make sure. What's up with all your guys' fucking gay ass shit? Because we always give one to grow on at the end of our sets. You guys' Springer final moment shit. (laughs) Guys, guys, what is is friendship? But two people making an unspoken agreement that they are bound for life. Time to shed some skin. (laughs) United Front. (laughs) It means a lot to certain people. Dude, I'm so clever. If I can leave you with one thing, life is a messy, hilarious adventure. So make sure to embrace the chaos, you absolute pieces of shit. That's my time. Thank you. <laughs> that was nice. Embrace the chaos, me and that's the most. By the way, that's our your, fa- your fans now, though, are you absolute? Pi- What's up, absolute pieces you of absolute shit? Piece of shit. <laughs> also, can we get? Can we get? Uh, What's what up, maniacs? What is, is absolutely happening. What is for that me? meme where it's like the two hands? That, what was it? Uh, Arnold Predator. and Carl Weathers. Oh yeah, yeah. We've got to be embrace the chaos in the middle of it. Embrace <laughs> the chaos. Yeah, we I always like wait it. before we end our sets. Embrace the chaos, Embrace everybody. The chaos. But do me a favor. Let's not be really loud outside. <laughs> also, guys, just be quiet when you're leaving. This is past some zoning laws. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. This, is, this area is sort of residential. <laughs> Can you do me a favor? Can you have it write an entire 45-minute set? And then, and then, send and it then email it to me. Yeah. And then edit this part out of the podcast. Can we just release three AI specials for Can we please? I, I would love to release AI specials on the Legion of Skanks new well, channel. I think your Legion idea podcast. was to do an unreleased Legion of Skanks episode when Patrice O'Neill was on. Yeah, we're going to do Yeah, we're gonna do an episode of Legion of Skanks with Patrice O'Neill. What? Yeah, a, an AI version. Oh, Dave, you weren't here for the meeting. Oh, oh yeah. No, I don't show up to those. Great, uh, great meeting, though, guys. Cool. No, this is definitely cool starting to play with the dead. This is absolutely a good thing. Wait, so what was your take on the Carlin? This is the beginning of a horror movie. What do you think about the Carlin thing? I think it's in danger of doing nothing. Like, this this, this technology. I think they're coming, man. I don't know. I think they're fucking here, man. All I'm saying is... They're fucking here, man. If what we just listened to was the Nokia phone, and there's an iPhone coming 10 years away, then, yeah... Uh, maybe they could save just your make, money. I don't think. Maybe, right, I don't think. Maybe don't, they could just make stand-up comedy better. Than all I don't us. think writers' I don't jobs or anything like that's in danger. What they did say they well, would. Why do. wouldn't it be though? That's a great point though. Dave just said, if this advances 20, 30 times, and the iPhone is something. I think they say it's it's. Then you're in a simulation. Times, it's a uh, two hundred thousand times more powerful than the Nokia phone of two thousand was. So something two hundred thousand. Times more than this. It's without a doubt funnier than all of Oh, my God. Stand-up comedy is in no danger. The danger is the writers. Shane Chappelle? It's it's the writers. Oh, my God. That's why you Imagine Elvis Presley was mixed with Chris Rock. He's like, I slam Bud Lights (laughs) and you gay. I think, yeah, that's right. I wanted Shane and Chappelle to be my best friend. That's mathematically the funniest thing they could make. Also, Shane I have Chappelle. all of your voices in the database if you want to hear. Yeah, I want you to burn silly. it, and okay. I want to watch. Hey, if you want anyone to say anything. Yeah, if you could have Dan say, I want to burn those children, and I want to watch. Brother, I already have it. We got merch coming I out. Want, you I need want, to listen to so Dan, I want Dan and Butterly having a conversation about how black people should be exterminated from society. I don't like that at all. I got to get Go going. Ahead. Guys, dansoda.com. <laughs> that is a robot then, from here on out. Let me get to the place where I can use the mic back there. <laughs> Play me in. <laughs> hey, it's me, Robot Dan. Beep boop 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 boop. Beep bop, zip bop. Oh, short circuiting. Gotta go. Oh, wow. oh, catch, man, sorry. catch you later this week on the next episode of Legion's Grace. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, that is the best. It's pretty, uh, it's, it's eerie, so but it says it's not as scary as I thought it would be almost. Especially like the, the George Carlin thing, I'm like. It's pretty much exactly what I expected. Yeah, it's like fine. Yeah. I want to kill children. Also, I didn't say that. 
Dan. I was drinking water like a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, this guy's Jeff Dunhaming it. He's Dunhaming it. Play a game, Mike. Where I go, how can I say that? I want to kill the... children. Also, what? Dan. What? Anyways, guys, we got a great show tonight. <laughs> you, what's up, you maniacs? Don't forget to listen. Dude, goddamn! What a fun episode. Always a great one with the great Tim Butterly, everybody. Thank you guys so very much. I love you, Tim. I love all you guys. Thank you. Dan Soder in the motherfucking house. Thanks. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. We'll catch you later this week in our Zoom episode. Until then, peace. You've been listening to the Legion of Skanks podcast with Big J Okerson. Did you suck it? I think I would instinctually suck it. Thick with three C's. <laughs> Who else be fucking over, Lewis? Lewis Gomez. Lewis J. Gomez, you motherfucker. <clears throat> Lewis J. Gomez. If you're trying to watch a retard draw swastika, it's hilarious. I'm sort of known as a point guard of podcasting. Being a fat gay guy is so fucking awesome. And comedian Dave Smith. You fucking godless, soulless sodomites. That's the fucking best joke I've ever heard in my life. It was eight inches. The Legion of Skanks podcast.